What is this for? That's gonna, that's, uh, gonna be for the keyboard later. Okay. Fast and speed bullet, more well powerful now. locomotive. Sh Able to leap tall buildings in a single time. bound. Look, up in the sky, bird is playing its atom. Dad, is that where you're gonna be leaning forward? You wanna pull it back toward you? Yes, Adam, strange visit of another planet. <laughs> sit comfortable however you want, I'm good. <laughs> Adam. Okay, so fast as people. Teddy, Teddy's in the house. Teddy's in the house. Teddy's in the house. Right, Teddy's in the house. Check, 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 check. Teddy's check, check, check. One, check, 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 check. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get here. I'm going to get here. <laughs> all right, all right. Hello, hello. Hello. Here's, here are me. Here's a, now, how's everybody's headphones? You want me to raise any volume? I can't you hear anything. Really? Okay. Yeah. Are you plugged in? Yep, I think so. You're a douchebag then. Check, check, check. I, should write I raise. Shit. Yep. I rise. Check, check, check. A little bit more. I raise. Check. I can, check. I can hear people. I can't hear myself. Oh, now oh. he's louder. Oh, now I'm perfect. Check and raise. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. French. You think Debbie can get an EP title in this in this podcast? Yes. Okay. All right. Hello, my goblins. Check, check. No. Yeah. Raise. Is. Check, check. Oh, I'm raising dad. That's what's going on. Oh, you got yeah, you got it. Really Did you hear that? Wait, dad, dad, keep talking. Fast speeding bullet. More powerful. Locomotive. Yeah, he's slowly too loud. Uh, able to leap tall buildings in single bound. Look, up in sky. Bird of plane. No, it's Adam Ray. Adam, check, 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 check. There we go. And down. Go. Yeah, down. Yeah, there we go. All right. Welcome. <clears throat> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. I've been here for a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking Cleveland. Where my arms tired? Yeah. Setting this shit up. One day in Cleveland is like two weeks or something like that. Is that what they say? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I get it. Right. What do you mean? They say one day in Cleveland is like a week. Another in man's treasure. <laughs> well, well, there is something about Ohio in general. I yeah, think. But they you... got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know. You gotta, you know. Who goes to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Lots of I people. Do. It's a great ex exhibit. It really is. Well, we'll make sure that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is part of the uh, Sleepover Series listen, opening. I, I thought listen. I was going to be inducted, but, you know. Well, what, yeah. what are you going to do? Uh, oh, is Write a letter? Did he really think he was going to be inducted? And he well, wasn't? let me tell you something about the Rock and Hall of Fame. Real quick, as long as we're on the subject. It shouldn't be called the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It should just be called the most popular There's music. Rock and Roll people that comes world. to my Teddy mind. toured with. Okay, some of the best. Give me a face. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, we gotta, I know, at the look, beginning, we got to grab the audience. <laughs> we're talking about people that didn't even make it into the Rock and Roll Hall me. of Fame. One of the best Rock and Roll bands in history. Teddy toured with them. I'm still rock and roll band. Jay Giles band. Yeah. Who's a better rock and roll band? I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure people have already turned off this to put on Jay Giles. Love stinks. Yeah. Whammer jammer, man. Yeah. You're talking about uh, Magic Dick? Yep. He was a harmonica Got player. Okay. Got it. A lot of Jews in that band. It's a good band. Yeah, How many, Peter well, Wolf. There's, there's a lot of Jews in a lot of bands. Oh, yeah. This episode is brought to you by Helix. Now, for those of you who watched the Eric Griffin episode, you saw Mom, Dad, and I unbox this mattress. I feel like we need a drum roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Mom, if you could do that the whole time. Okay. We'll tell you more about it later in the episode. Go to helixsleep.com slash Tyso for up to $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. That's helixsleep.com slash Tyson. For up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows. 
With Raycon wireless earbuds, you get crisp, crisp powerful, powerful beats <laughs> at half the price of other premium audio brands. Right now, you can get 15% off your entire order at buyraycon.com slash Tyso. Buy raycon.com slash Tyso for 15% off your first order. This episode is brought to you by DoorDash. And for a limited time, you get 25% off and zero delivery fees on any order, $15 or more, if you download the DoorDash app and enter code TISO. Well, the only Jewish band I really know is out of Canada, Rush. Well, why don't we Jewish band rush through this topic and get started? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Sleepover Series with special guest Steve Glassman, Teddy Wender, and you know him best as eight-time, now nine-time appearing, Adam Ray. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, we well, have to well, go back. Yeah, yeah. Nine, nine times? Nine this is his ninth. Times. I want to document it. Yeah, what do you mean? This because is it. We have. We we're are. taping it. How this, many times have we How many it? times have I been on? You've had uh, three. Uh, Teddy's had three. Uh, th you have had three dead Teddies, plus a Vegas dad's, plus a Mark. So you've had five, plus the Browns. Six. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. The black guests that I've had on. There you go. <laughs> Six. Oh, I made a cameo. I did a commercial. Yeah, you a lot of cameos. On the Mark Norman, and we're back. That's going to be killer. We don't Episode. count cameos. Adam's made cameos. We're talking All right, title guys. card. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you uh, leave me Listen. My, oh. <laughs> Everyone's been asking for Adam and Ted. Am I right? You know, there's been, you know, a handful of people. A handful, a handful of people. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody right. means something different. Well, I want to talk about this. Also, um, uh, how are you feeling, Teddy? I'm feeling terrific. Hey, I'm feeling wait terrific. a minute. Excuse I, listen, me. I like to, can I interject? Again with the interject? Um, I'd like to apologize for the last uh, podcast. Um, Let's get to a clip. I took uh, some. Oh, like so a, actually, like, look at my arm. All of a sudden, there's a like, creepy kind of thing going on. And I go. No, no, no. It's not the crepey thing, you know. And it's like, no, you just can get. No, I'm talking about right. No, it was, it was, it was. Uh, rhinoceros tranquilizer. <laughs> Will you take your glasses I'm, off just for twenty seconds? Sure. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and um, was it really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot the. Uh, you know, I had it. You yeah. Know? Well, it I, seems I, like I, you I, took one again. I, uh, Wait, no, real quick. I'm glad again. you didn't get stoned before but, the podcast. But I want everyone to know that. That's not the real Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Say that with a straight face. Okay. But we will smoke a lot of weed today. Yeah. Okay. Teddy, we haven't you... started smoking weed today. We we, we we held up. We did. You, it's we a, held up. So I requested because of how smashed Teddy could get. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great pitch, I tell you right now. You get as high as you want, but start having not smoked yet. Yeah. Right. right. What time were right. we supposed There's to start no the podcast? Way. So he, he There's waited. no way he hasn't smoked yet. It's okay that you yeah, guys we, smoked. You're your own man, but don't yeah, lie but about we, it. We didn't like, you know, go we nuts. Yeah. You, I, let's, let's, and we didn't we did, open it, up any listen, of the Look at the... Uh, listen, I'm not your dad. You're mine. You could smoke. I know, I'd like to explain to the goblins that... To the what? To the who? Goblins. Oh, it's not as you said goblins, which is like kind of like when I have a problem. Teddy and I... The Tyso the, our A coffee, problem with your goblins. When, when we wake up... And, goblin. Yeah. Jeff Goblin. Hello. Nice nice talk. Uh, hello. When, when we wake up in the morning, when uh, hello, we wake up hello, in the morning, yes, hello. we don't have coffee. We take a toke. It's our coffee. Okay. I okay. think we're skipping over a very uh, big point here. Teddy, where are you uh, obtaining rhino tranquilizers and <laughs> skipping over that? Like that's a normal I, thing I to have in your pouch. I can't uh, devouch that. Uh, devouch. Uh, we'll put up a definition of devouch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> point. Listen. De we've been waiting. Roll the freaking joint. I want to get started. Stone. Yeah, yeah. So well, I came home. Joint, I came home Teddy. for uh, for for a bit this summer, Teddy. and uh, I wanted Adam. I've always wanted to do an episode with Dad and Teddy and Adam. Adam, well, let's talk about just the history of us talking about getting me to Cleveland. Okay, because that's I've a been good here subject. once to do a show, and that's it. And uh, but even prior to that, my knowledge of Cleveland was Albert Bell. Carlos Baerga and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and how many Jews are in it yeah. and then I meet Rick Glassman and he's like hey at some point cut, in our to, friend cut to us meeting at the Haha ha Cafe hey yeah, hey. you guys are in the valley 
Lots of cool babes in the haha tonight. What's up, Terry and Jack? You guys own this place. And we're back. And uh, we became friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, at some point during the Tyso legacy, we well, said... we always wanted to have... I, we, we've always, like, spoken about you and Brent coming for us to play hilarities together. Yes. And... Uh, shout out to Brent Moore. Shout out to Brent Moore. Let's put his Instagram handle up here. Hey, Brent. How you doing? And, uh, how's that, yeah, so how's whatever. That, how's that crew doing? Now, Teddy... Teddy, why'd you fly in from New York? Because I, I asked you to come and do this podcast with us, and you said no at first. What changed your mind? Also, nice talking to the mic, Ted. Adam. <laughs> all the Tyso freakies and all your uh, goblin freakies, they all wanted us to be together. Yeah, they requested it. They requested and Clearly, this was a great and, idea. And, and, and I, I can't disappoint them. How'd they do they, in your video? How'd Tyso Teddy, do? Teddy, you got to humor me. You, you, could, you, you, you just put the microphone. Did I what? Just you can you can move it wherever you are. He needs a Do wireless it. lavalier microphone. Is that better? If you want to lean hunched over. Is that better? Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. All right, yeah, great. that sounds good. All right, okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I want you comfortable though. I'm comfy. I'm comfy. I just rolled a, a joint, our first joint. Teddy. Um, yes, 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 sir. I love um, that you didn't know where what direction that voice was coming in. You looked at Rick first when you heard. <laughs> Steve well, because because the, they're because the stereo. He doesn't know where Dad is. He's got so he doesn't Rick, know where he is. Rick has got some. <laughs> we'll be right back with a word from our sponsors. <laughs> we're back and, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> Teddy, where did you just come back from? <laughs> the moon. Oh, man. <laughs> what time is it? What uh, time is it? Uh, <laughs> July. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for coming <laughs> to the living room. Great. Right. Yeah. Is, I also like to, while I'm thinking about it right now, yeah. I, have to, I have to say. Um, Actually wrapping up. Um, Bismarck. You know, everyone knows Bismarcky. Passed away this week. Mm. Well, worked, this... worked in my studio for two weeks. Oh, wow. And um, I tell you, eulogies are on Saturday. It, 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 I know. Also, but, it seems like you're but, not talking about Bismarcky, but rather bragging that he worked with you. No, so no, it's no, no. A little tacky. Well, no, no, no. I, we we have a lot. I, we had a relationship, you know. And uh, yeah, I had a relationship with Albert Bell too, but he didn't really know right, me. Well, well listen, R.I.P. <laughs> but absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, is we Albert should make, Bell, jokes. Is make Albert, jokes. Is Albert Bell dead? R.I.P. No. Is. Give me the joint while you tell this story. Okay. Give me a oh, yeah. Also, give the audience a joint while they listen to it. Otherwise, <laughs> they anyway. are tuning out. I'm sure this audience anyway. is smoking joints. Give me the lighter, Ted. It's gotta be. Lighter comes with it. All right. Uh, Teddy, I'm glad that you decided to come. Well, let me get I'm started off. Can. Go for it. Well, let's quickly. You could bring the mic to you. We can do this kind of thing. Uh, why don't we plug this in? Because we definitely can't plug that in. Okay. We can plug that in. Let's see if it works. Right. I got my little, uh, it's a portable organ. It's for fun. Let's see if this works. Yeah, might... I did that to piss him off. All right. <laughs> You'll Tell catch that in the mono. edit. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm, I'm difficult with not wanting, you know, smoke blown into the microphones. But, like, then just don't do the podcast. <laughs> Wait, could you have it not come out of the speakers? No. Oh, why is it even plugged in then? Uh, you see anything? It looks exciting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> Maybe turn down just a little, Ricky. Yeah. Teddy, could you lower the volume a little? Yeah. This would be a great time. You know... Why don't we start over? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we we start over? Okay. Please. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sleep. Wait, hold on. Start start over. (laughs) I'll say ladies and gentlemen, and then then kind of come out in. All right. I ran up to gentlemen. But Teddy, also, I could raise the volume in post. It's on its own track. All right. (laughs) Excuse me. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sleepover Series featuring Dad and Teddy and Adam Ray's ninth appearance. Adam Ray, I guess I could have just said your name once. We'll keep it going, we're live. We had Adam fly in from Los Angeles to be here in the Glassman living room and Teddy decided to fly in from New York and yes, their arms are tired. While everyone's coughing, it is my pleasure to introduce the crew for the first time. What are we? Dad and Teddy and Adam? Dad, Teddy and Adam. Dada. 
Yeah. We'll have, put the Add applause. Yeah. Oh my God, they're finally together. <laughs> oh, we wish they were together. Oh, God. 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 <laughs> now what do we do? How do podcasts work? <laughs> so, Dad, uh, when did you meet Mom? <laughs> for those of you who are my Patreon members or interested in Patreon, that go to patreon.com slash take your shoes off, where we have exclusive episodes, like when Mom and Betty met for the first time. I'm so hot. I, I can't, can't stand it. Get me my purse. I have a fan in there. That I don't have my pretty hanky for Mom that. holds handkerchiefs like she's saying goodbye to people on the Titanic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sweetie, will you please put my lemonade stuff in that thing? Am I cute, babe? Yeah, you look cute. I can see you from here. You can? Yeah. Can you see my stomach? What yeah, about my upper great. arms? What did I do with my hanky? Oh, here we go. <laughs> the, the video of my, when mom and I met for the first time. I don't have that. Oh, okay. I don't have that video. Okay. <laughs> Seen any good cats lately? Let me tell you something. Yes. You brought it up, okay? Okay. She, she's the most wonderful person in the world. She really is. My wife. I hit the fucking lottery. With the jackpot, baby. Okay? She's my All favorite you guys cousin. that are looking for what am I going to do for my life? How am I going to do it? I've been married <coughs> 42 years, okay? And she's made me a better person. You all know her. She's funny. Teddy said, my favorite cousin. Is that true? true. Mom! Absolutely. How many cousins? Oh, yeah. Mom! Uh, do you have? Because um, that's you a bold statement. Not, not, gonna... that, not that many. I have a, I have a small family. But, but she... enough cousins to know them and oh, know who she, brings the most to the table. She's more than, more she's than a, a special very, cousin. very she's special. She's one, one of the most special people special in, the whole, in the whole world. Yep. She is. Dad, you just, you just said special the way that Fonzies can't say I'm sorry. <laughs> and here she is. Here she is. All the way from upstairs. <laughs> hey, Mom. Debster. I want to say this. Uh, Deb. She's the queen. Upon arriving at 6 a.m. to the Glassman household, I was uh, greeted at the door by the hostess with the mostess. I had, and she was chirpy at 6 a.m. We had goodie bags. Chirpy at 6 a.m. I had goodie bags. I had clean sheets with only a couple pee stains on them. Adam, when was the last time you got a goodie bag? Come on. 1987. Right. Come on. This is unbelievable. Right? And it was coincidentally at another uh, friend's house in Cleveland. And guess what? This goodie bag was way better. This woman is fragrances, the most, candies. Yes, she's the most water. <laughs> water, she's, unbelievable. She's the most unselfish woman yep. in the world. Puts others Wait, first. Done now. Yeah, she puts you. ever the first. I love you, sweetheart. Ladies and gentlemen, Debbie Glassman. Yeah. Debbie Glassman. She'll be back. She'll be back later in the show. My favorite cousin. Right. Has later a great on, voice. Mom, later on in the show, let's let's tease it real quick. Mom has, has we, an appreciation for yard lights. We, uh, <laughs> we are going to be starting Mom's Craft Corner. Yes. And I just want to give a little sneak yes. peek. Mom, show, show everybody real quick. Here, sit down for a second. Show, yeah. show this off. This, this piece. Check this let me, out. Let me say this. Let me say this. Give me a little music for this. Actually, let me say this. Downstairs is a whole craft world. Do you remember the Dark Crystal and Labyrinth? Remember worlds where you're like, man, I can't even imagine a place so glorious and glamorous and wonder. Well, go downstairs at the Glassman household because you'll see a fucking craft city built by Debbie Glassman. Yep. And it's a place you want to go. It's a place you've heard about. It's a place you've read about. And when you go, you're never going to want to return back to your home. Do you understand how, how microphones work and, and cameras and framing? What's going on here? What's the slogan for Debbie's Craft Corner? Adam, it's Debbie's Craft Corners. Adam, lock up. <laughs> give Debbie the mic so she can explain this piece of work. I can't sit down. All right, give her the mic. Let's give her the mic, Rick. She we could blur. She had this idea to make a miniature we'll blur your bookshelf. Whole everything but your face. And she ordered thing. miniature books and she made her own pencils. It's a work of art. Right, here, hold on, hold on. Here, you made your own pencils. Yes. So, so mom, so mom, miniature pencils. Mom has uh, crafts. Should you show us what this is? Here, let, here, you can tell him. I'll hold it up. Right. It's on a piece. Talk into of, the mic. It's a, on a piece of the boys' old swing set. Mm. That I used, wow. and then look, look, it has what is Harry it? Potter you books. It. You can just talk about it, and then I'll show it. I'll it show has it all up. different books, look all the, the Harry Potter books, Mini all books. the all the um. And look uh, at the colored pencils. Are you? The I made the color pencil. Tell her how you made the color pencil. The detail is extreme. Pieces of wood, it's and I carved it, and I painted the tops of them for colored pencils. How about the little picture of Matt and Ricky? On My there? little Ricky and Matt. She miniaturized yeah, a picture of Matt and Ricky. And you shrunk your kids and put, them on, yeah. the, uh, put them on the. I shrunk my kids. I'm telling you. And then look, all my little tea, my coffee cup on top. Oh, you know why I shouldn't be showing this yet? Because you don't have your pizza box. Because it hasn't come, people. 
There'll be a miniature pizza box on here because these are all my favorite things. And what does that signify? Oh, pizza is your favorite. Pizza's thing. my favorite. It's Coffee's incomplete. my favorite. Books are my favorite. Perfumes are my wow. favorite. And your boys. Buddha is my favorite. My children are my favorite, but my most favorite's over there, and I can't put him in a frame. But it's Stevie. He's my favorite, favorite. Wow. But look. But look at how oh, I put so little sweet. book things on there. And look, this is my favorite. Look, a bookmark. My God, a little yes, bookmark. that's her favorite, that little miniature no, bookmark. Actually, that's Debbie Glassman with Mom's Crafts Corners. Wait, can we find Crafts something to put on there that signifies Steve? Like, what's, what would you put on there to... to well, know, really, the well, only thing you put is symbolize. a big schwantz. Yeah, I, I'd, have to put a big, I'd have to put a big schwantz on there. <laughs> and that, this that defeats the purpose because yeah, everything's miniaturized. Oh, well, put, I put a, I, here, let's just do that. Well played. We've got we our go. first joke now of the it's day. Perfect. It's got a joint on it. That works. All right. That, it's got a roach. A roach. Yeah. Right. It needs a full joint. Needs a full oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Mom, whoa. thank you so much for showing off your crafts. Now, I we are you, going Debbie. to be displaying See, more of them later, and they are going to be for sale. So I want everyone to save your money because how much would that sell for? Thousands you, and thousands. You, would no, you sell it if somebody offered cash, $1,000, would yes. you take it? See, that's $1,000. I love that off. about take your shoes off. It's, it's like a cross. It could be Etsy. For one second, right? <gasps> yeah, that was QVC, right? right? Yes, yeah, show your. I mean, well, we'll do a mom's craft. You're right, Dad. Yeah, it's, it's, go ahead. It's, you're right. Tyso has multi, unbelievable it's a multi flexibility. Social media site. This is unbelievable. I mean, because come on. Anything can happen on this. Side. Perry, play that back. And off it's a does. multi. Perry's not editing this one. All right, sorry. Hi, Perry. How you doing? I don't know if he's going to watch it. Okay. Should I send look him at, this clip? Look at more, more, more. Look at that. More crafts. More craps. I mean, this crafts. Is, by the way, folks, some of this crafts is going on Rick's merch site, rickglassman.com. Right, and it's all for charity. What charity? My charity. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky's rent. <laughs> funny, all right. Funny. So right. there's a little... Oh, do you have something you want to say? I was just going to say we are here because we've mixed... The two best schmies. You're not allowed to say mixed anymore. You just, we're all humans. Yeah. Everyone's got their own We've flavor. We've combined some of the two biggest schme smokers, one from the left coast, one from the right coast. Mm, but we're both, we're both, they're both liberal elites. I think we should give a little preview of what we'll be smoking today. That's a great idea. Wow. Let's talk. Take us through it. All right. So we got, I have actually brought some hash. So we're going to mix a little bit of that with some of the joints that we that we roll. But we have or haven't opened. Uh, Here, I'll read them. Give them to me. All right. This oh, they're all from the Clutch uh, farm. Check Where's that? Out. It's it's in there. California. Yeah. California. So this is Orange Forty Three. Mm. It has a THC count of thirty six point four percent. Come on, okay. Mama! Now let people know that that an average has around a little under twenty percent. Here's right. here's my rule of thumb: when I go to the dispensary, I buy nothing less than thirty percent. Here's my rule of thumb: get it out of my ass. Yeah, where, why is it a rule of a thumb? Also, <laughs> I I, I want to give credit where credit's Good due. Good point. I think that was hysterical, <laughs> and I'm sorry that I that I didn't give it time. <laughs> But that's a great joke, and it I thank you so joke. much for again Adam Ray for Adam flying Ray. in Flew Los in for Angeles. That. Flew in for that. Right, real quick, real quick for those shmi that people are interested. All right, so let's just have your legs crossed and yeah. you don't move, but then all of a sudden Adam, your body's getting crushed. Well, is, is Adam body. Ray your real name, or you had you change it for the stage? It was Adam Rabinsky before Rabinsky, yeah, I knew it from the big Rabinsky I family. I knew it. I knew right. it. for the you from the one the about Lebowski. Mm -hmm. It's the Lebowski Lebinsky. I right. somebody pitched me. Who said Lebinsky? You want to know the first joke somebody pitched me? They go, "Close enough." You should say because you're, you're Jewish and raised not a last Jewish name. You say you should change it. Uh, you change your last name because it was uh, too Jewish. You change it from Yamaka Yamaka Matzah Ball Jew guy. So you change it to Ray. Yeah, that's not easy. Somebody fun. pitched right. me that joke after a show. <laughs> yeah, hey, you can tell. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, <laughs> now you pitched it to us live on All Take right. Your Shoes Listen, Off. That's at Adam Ray Comedy. Second pot we're going to be smoking today. Second breakfast. I love the name. I haven't had a first. I actually feel my blood sugar a little low, so I apologize to the audience. THC. I love the names of weed. Yeah, the names are great. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. It's named after a movie, uh, Hurt Locker, except this one's called Heat Locker. Yeah, baby. And it's 33.7%. That one sounds dangerous. That feels like you're going to be trapped in yeah, a locker and it's hot as fuck. Yeah, but it's directed by a woman, and I think we need... More, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably lose a lot of my audience from this, and that's fine. I think we need more women directors. I agree. 
I agree. Who's your audience? They hate women directors. Oh, God. And I hate that. Uh, it makes me want to stop the podcast. Okay. You know the movie The Cat in the Hat? Uh, I do. Directed by... Uh, a woman. So uh, that's a cat it for it. some of our pot. Teddy's <laughs> going to keep rolling. He's going to add some hash to it. Before Teddy gets too high, I have a surprise for you guys. Here you go, Ted. Talk to me. The Cat in the Hat? Ted. Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the cat in the hat. Just trying to. Fuck. Okay. We'll be right back. If you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices. And at Marshall Carpet One, you'll certainly find them. And, and we're, we're back. back. And we're back. All right. All right. All right, listen, we're going to roll. Let's roll you guys, some more. You guys can keep talking. I'm going to keep rolling. All right, I like to talk about the fact that I hadn't met Teddy yet, and so when I get to Cleveland, Teddy's... The house already smells of pot when I come downstairs. It's noon. I go, this is my type of party. We Let's start token. This, we start poking. Was... We start uh, you know, mixing and clicking and ticking. And then I find out that Teddy is a jingle uh, um, creator right. extraordinaire artist. Right. So, Teddy, I think everyone listening has one question. Talk to me. How do you find the jingle world? I actually, I, I, you know, there were times when I really, really loved it, and there were times when the advertising agencies were so off the wall, they would ask you to do something that was just, you know, you, could, you couldn't figure, figure the fucking thing out. You know, they would say something, uh, can you put a little more green in it? You know, or you, you to know. a song? Yeah, to a song, yeah. Yeah, and what it's does that not, mean? I, don't, I have no idea. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we flipped it around and sent it back, and most most of the time they bought it. You know, you said so, you'd come up with like four or five jingles at a time. Yeah, we we'd, we'd have to do four, three, three to four a day, maybe even more. Right now, jingles we've heard of. They're mostly mostly kids stuff, but yeah, back, but we're talking about the '90s and Kid early toys. 2000s. Yeah. yeah, you said Micro Machines. Like there was machines, a, a doll, uh, the original flashlight. I think you did the jingle for. We did all the every. Uh, oh, we did the, the, the Kiss and Cousins. All the all the freaking Kissin', cousins. Kiss and Cousins. Kiss and oh, Cousin. Yeah. What I, you know, thousands of them. Bubble gum. Uh, Bubble gum brigade. Bubble gum. No regular uh, chewing gum. Oh, Can we quiet for one bazooka. bazooka Joe. Quiet. Quiet on the set. Quiet for sound. <laughs> Merrill Lynch, Diet right, Coke. You, you know, Ricky lost his phone, folks. That's what this is all, all about. Right. Pretty much a, a gamut of everybody. You know, we, we even did like uh, Bill Moyers. What was Bazooka Joe's uh, slogan? You know, what, I, my fa my favorite one was doing shit for Howard. I would do parodies for Howard. But how did how did the Bazooka Joe jingle go? <laughs> I have go no ahead. idea. We'd have to go back on YouTube. Yeah, I did go so ahead. many. I, I can't remember the one. They all sound the same. Yeah. After a while, I had a formula in it, and, I, and they, you know, um, they would all be a little bit different. Bazooka Joe, Bazooka Joe, it's yeah. bubble gum, don't you know? You know, See, you I, know, I, you, you know I wrote a jingle that nobody You're knows there, I get baby. credit for. What's that? Fast and Speed and Bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. <laughs> Able to leap tall buildings in single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, Superman. Strange visitor from another planet. Came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman changed the course of mighty rivers. Ben Steele in his bare hands. And who disguises a mild matter reporter for... Disguises Clark Kent. For a, mi a mild man a reporter for a guy's uh, worst audition ever. Okay. Sir, so we're gonna stop it. We actually got yeah. So we actually got everything we need. And actually, the line what the line was. Cut that, Perry. The, sir, the sir no, sir. The line was, "Can you hand me the sandwich?" Can you hand me the sandwich? Um, so right. Teddy, uh, during the Vegas Dads, Teddy had an idea for a television show, and instead of right. repitching it, we could just cut to a clip. We, we get push in with a little bit of music runs of the old World War Two stuff. And make sure you put like opacity is it's half, and like we're, we're seeing the planes going through. We're bringing in the. I would like the epic to somehow music. license already the stuff that's already out. If huh? We could. What do you mean? Like it would be a new show off of another show. Like take Discovery Channel, work out a license where we can grab a couple of their like you know 
Yeah, like minute you clip. know. Fantastic. And you wanted to see this as a show. So I thought it might be fun to, since it's a show about Jews watching World War II footage. Yes. Who better to produce it than a Jewish producer? I agree. So I, I happen to be friends with a Jewish producer. Uh, shout out to John Stern and Abominable Pictures. He produced a futile and stupid gesture. And I thought it might be <clears> fun <throat> to give him a call. And you pitch can pitch him your it to show. Him. That's a great idea. Also, I don't know if any of this works. <clears throat> so we'll figure this out. You're going to have Teddy pitch a show to a Hollywood guy that knows what he's doing. This is amazing. You no, know, we were talking about jingles for a second. Let me tell you. For 20 years, I did jingles. At, but, but before I did jingles, I was in a, in a rock group. Right. right? And we, and, you know, we, wanted to make, we wanted to keep making money. We found out that if you do, you make a, a really good jingle, you make more money than if you had a top 10 record. For wow. God's sakes, all right? Because they keep playing it and playing it and playing it. So the Kit Kat so, guy has more you than break. Oh, I am oh. so sorry about that, everyone. Oh, <laughs> the phone works. Oh. I am so sorry. Teddy, Teddy <laughs> is that kind of like doing a voiceover for a Kia commercial? It's Why not? Oh. Why do, you know not? Any, do you know anybody that does the voiceover for the yes, Kia commercial? Yes, I know, I know a lot of people that do that, but Yo. I know a really good friend right, we're of mine We're going to give a call to John Stern. Oh, God. I'm working on it. Uh, loud. Does John know we're calling him? He knows about the show, but I don't know if he knows that we're. Hi, this is John. I just busted a nut. Can he call what? me later? <laughs> what the fuck? What if that is his voicemail? <laughs> you reach John Stern. Oh, can I like leave the message? message? Leave a message. Funny. Be, be kind. At the right. tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may. We ever, who is this woman, by the way? One for more options. Hey, John. Hey, hey, Steve John. Glassman. Rick's. Dad here. Did you forget? Yeah, I did. Wanted to call you because my cousin Teddy wanted to pitch a show to you, and you are one of the best. Give us a call back. So please give us a call back when you have a chance. Uh, hi, John. Teddy's agent here, uh, Darius Rucker Jr. Uh, I hung up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I was. I was. I was yeah, back I, to I the need jingles. To inter interject again. So I did. Well, jingles. Teddy interjects. Let's put a little I, Teddy interjects jingle up. I interject. Okay. So sleeping is something I love to do, but I can't always get comfortable. I'm an erotic boy. Would you agree? No question about it. And sometimes I just I, I'm hot, or this. My, I got to put my legs up on a pillow. I got to find a spot. I can't imagine I'm alone on this. No, but you're very sensitive to the issue of a good night's sleep on a comfortable mattress. You always have been. So you could go to helixsleep.com slash Tyso and take the two-minute sleep quiz. Answer simple things. Are you a back sleeper? Side sleeper. Do you, do you like the, a firm mattress? Or a softer mattress? How tall are you? How short are you? How much do you weigh? How big is your schwantz? The regular default, or I guess for women too, how gaping is... Is no, that's not necessarily an item. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How cool is it when we got that uh, mattress delivered to the door? King size mattress. Oh, woo! Look at it. Wow, what a groovy mattress. Wow, look at it. So thick. I've always wanted to do this. This is... <laughs> Let me tell you something. This mattress could break up my family because I'm only going to sleep down here from now on. I want to do it again. I want to get rid of the mattress I'm sleeping on and bring it up and do it again. I'm telling you guys, I have been sleeping here so well. It's such a good mattress. They have a guarantee. It's I think it's 20 days, right? Actually, Rick, it's 100 days. That's 100 day guarantee that if you don't love this mattress, they will come and pick it up. I got to be honest, okay? The mattress that I sleep on now cost me twice what the Helix mattress will cost, and it's not as nice. HelixSleep.com slash Tyso for up to $200 off all mattress orders. And two free pillows. Listen, all right? I want to be serious for a minute because I love these. I just can't hear you that well. Now how does everything sound, sound, sound? sound. Can I be honest, Dad? It doesn't sound like you're six feet away. I'm telling you, these Raycon earbuds are the real deal. Plus, you don't have to recharge them for 24 hours. Not six or eight hours or three hours like some premium audio brand yeah, earbuds. Premium. Hey, you know what I say to premium audio brands that can't hold a charge? You can't hold my because they ain't premium unless they last in premium. You heard me? Push it on me. Stop saying you're premium when the things run out of juice right after I get in the car to start my workout. You 
by Raycom.com slash Tyso for 15% off your order and you can put soap in my son's mouth. <laughs> Listen up. Raycon is offering 15% off all the products to my Take Your Shoes Off listeners. You know what I say about Raycom earbuds, don't you, Ricky? Grab a pair. And a spare. Exactly. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tyso. There, you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. That's, That's 15%, 15 off at buyraycon.com slash Tyso. Yeah. Did you say anything, dude? Buy Raycon.com slash Tyso. So I'm in London now, and boy, my arms are tired. Now, when I was at home in Cleveland, Dad and I watched a lot of beat Bobby Flay. My dad decided to grill up a steak because Bobby Flay cooks... Well, let me let him explain his dilemma. So here's my dilemma. I got inspired by watching a lot of beat Bobby Flay, and I wanted to grill a steak. So I went out, I bought a beautiful 14 ounce Delmonico steak, baked potato that I'll make myself, and fresh corn in the cob, because I live in Ohio and it's the season. Daddy loves his corn. But you know what? I forgot a major ingredient. Yeah. Butter. Butter. What did I do? I went to DoorDash. That's right. Of course, you can get anything you want on DoorDash. Take a look. And I just ordered some butter. It should come about the time my steak comes right off the grill and gets its butter treatment. So I'll keep you posted. Oh, he kept me posted all right. And for a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order, $15 or more, when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TISO. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TISO. And by the way, goblins and boppers, I'm a DoorDash user. So if you want to support TISO, just download the app. It's very easy. Enter code TISO. You're helping me out. You're getting yourself $10 off a meal. Enjoy it. Send me a picture of what you got, and I'll write you back, and I'll say, mm, damn! Or I could send, dashing, baby! Don't forget, that's code TISO for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject change, terms apply. I interject, sorry. So for 20 years, I did whatever these motherfuckers wanted me to do. And then in 2008, everything fell apart, mm -hmm. and I started to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. I did... 10 CDs since then. Mm -hmm. They're all out. Finally, I did vinyl. After Hold it up. There it is. Teddy's you new vinyl. Own vinyl. Teddy you brought Winter, my own the vinyl. Are those for sale anyway? They're for sale. Well, you know something? If uh, Tyso people... Well, wait. Do you, I, uh, do you want to interject to talk about this? I would interject again. It's a great album, folks. I listened to it. And we'll have a real good time. Teddy uh, sent me some I, Teddy Interjects uh, I, I music. Have, I Love have 25 that. that I'm willing to give away to our Tyso fans, okay? 25 mm. albums. 25. Signed? What, signed. What do we got to do? Whatever you want me Ricky. to sign. What do so, we, what wait, 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 hold on a second. For, Whatever you want them to sign. So if Tyso fans write in and they go, they give you a copy to write. Like, I would do say it. Say like, fuck you, Mark motherfucker, in Detroit, yeah, motherfucker. I would do that. Or uh, Big yeah. Ball Louie. Yeah, well, but who's going to actually mail? You're going to actually mail them? No, I, you're going to yes. mail them. I, I, no, 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 I, no. I, no. I, I will mail them. You'll do oh, handling? I will mail so them. So now, now how are we going to get people? How are we going to know? We have to have them. So Teddy has a new music video up. What's the name of the song? Summer Shirt. Alexa, play Summer Shirt. Perfect it's, for the it's summer. The greatest. We'll, we'll put a link up. Uh, we'll put a link up here. We'll also put a link in the description. We want to get you guys not only to go check it out. We want you to like it, leave a comment, and whoever he's going to pick twenty-five comments. Now, 20? how are they going to get your address? Um, I will. You know what they got to do? I will reply. Isn't I'll reply. On the link. They can comment on the link, and he can reply. So here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to we're gonna have to reply to them, and then that they they've been picked. Uh, what's your email address? You got to have them. You have to be willing to post your email address on YouTube, mm -hmm. because otherwise we don't know who's really mailing. I, I have I'll give them my uh, the uh, Pin work, my, my uh, corporate corporate um, you know beautiful email, perfect. You know. Yeah. Now we won't hear them. Thanks, man. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, thank all my Tyso buddies and goblins. They got me over a hundred thousand. Yeah, tell them about, we, you know, we wanted to get you to 100,000 yeah. by July and we just yeah. missed it. 100,000 what? <laughs> uh, views on his, uh, uh, on his, uh, my first video. His video. Wow. Oh, uh, what's it called? My Joyce or something? No, it's called Peace Will Come and it Pe was all, it was, it's a really uh, very timely video. Still even more timely than ever. Can you give us a piece acapella? 
Um, give me one of the lines. Dad, you want to step out for a sec? Hmm. Well, you got shot down. Is that how it's always been? No, when you no, say, no. Dad, how about this? And no, goes, it's well, a really good you know, I just worry about the mix. You got to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, same. We got to do this for our children. <laughs> oh, here we go. Put some music behind this. Go, yeah. Teddy. Did you get a sale? Yeah. Could, yeah. I mean, bring, yes. it, bring us in. Yeah. I mean, this, uh, yeah. I mean, wow. out of all the phone calls to censor, why not show the Marshall Rug Gallery business at work? It was just a call from my very, very efficient associate nate ween shout out to nate ween and his nate. dogs yeah. oj and wilton oh my bo- my and boys he's, he's, my boys. yeah he's helping me with the sales since i'm here doing a podcast i ha- i can't have a meeting and he's taking it for me making the sale okay i'm gonna oh, do wait, wait wait hold on teddy has something to say yeah okay uh, ready t- uh, yeah well I'll tell you something let me give you, you, you it's the interlude you, 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 you. What, Teddy? <laughs> Teddy? I'm back. Teddy? What did you? What happened? You blew yourself I'm back. up. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna be rolling a hash joint now. Can I be honest? One of the best songs I've heard in the last eight minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you. No, I'm serious. That was great. You know, my let son. Let me interject. <laughs> let me let, let me interject. <laughs> Adam, go ahead. My son is a. Um, <laughs> hold on, Teddy. Let me Adam, let's blow up at the end. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's, this is blowing up. <laughs> I was trying to time the dynamite. <laughs> How many times have you said that? Anytime you, if other people are talking and you want to interject, just do me a favor. Look to me, give me a little snap. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, oh, man. Boy. All right. Yeah, we'll okay. This is a that. real I'm happening a, here, right, folks. We happen. got Teddy and Adam Let in Cleveland. <laughs> go, go ahead. It's okay, Teddy. Go. Get you, get you, get you, get you. This is me taking the dynamite out, ready? <laughs> what did you, what, what, what did you, you pull it like it was a grenade. Yeah, 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 grenade. yeah, yeah one more, one more. Let's, I want to time to blow up, get better. I want yeah. to blow up, all right? All right, Teddy, what are you, what are you doing now? We're doing a hash well, joint. Tell us about it. All right, we're going. <laughs> okay, keep talking. Uh, we're going for clutch no, orange. Orange 43. We're going for orange 43. This is why the man's no, the, a jingle writer. Right, he listen, can write a listen, catchy jingle right, anytime. Let me interject again. Me, oh, wait a minute. Uh, one more interject. Okay, you got okay, it, Teddy. Listen, no. listen. Teddy, you got it. <laughs> I've been doing music for a long time. <laughs> it <all> shows. Right? <laughs> and the reason why I did music instead of acting is because I was dyslexic and I was scared oh, shitless. Oh, all right. oh poor oh, Teddy. Oh, oh, poor Teddy. Oh, oh, sorry. Like That's anybody all that, benefit for Teddy. Anybody looking for a fucking asshole, okay? You know, an old asshole with great with white hair. I'm available. All right. Well, we tried to call a producer, but you were like, but, but you you weren't ready. First, you said, "Let me give you, give you, give you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I want to use this on the podcast you, from now on. Whatever. So, actually, you know, to the guest, real quick. Let me give you, give you. Oh, come on, Teddy. That's great. That's great, man. Yeah, that's great. How how long did it take you to write that? I can't believe I just said that. Thirty seconds. Thirty <laughs> seconds. Guess were you, what? Were you stoned or non-stoned? Uh, we're always a little. You know, we always have a little. Thing yeah, right. right. A little something to. Hey, Teddy. Teddy. Let me <laughs> stay on that mic, brother. Okay, so we're doing the hash joint. We're moving along nicely. Anyway. It's great to be together with all you guys. That's all I can tell you. Teddy, oh. sometimes when he doesn't know what to say, he trails off the way people do at the end of a Comedy Central oh, roast. No, 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 no. Like all jokes no. aside, I just want to say, being up here on this dais, you're the reason My I friends. got into comedy. Yeah. yeah. I will tell Wait, you Dad, about, do you have something you want to say? Yeah. Um, you know, that Teddy is here because he loves us and wanted Jackson, to visit Jackson. us and everything else. But the really, 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 really reason he's here is because all you goblins supported his video and he yeah. today surpassed 100,000. Did it happen? Yeah, it, it happened. happened. It Congratulations, happened today. Teddy. Yeah. Today. 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 That's and it was today. because of you guys. Tyson you know? and Goblin yeah, that, put I was, him over. I was, it was awesome. Tell, me what, to say, tell him what you told me the other day about how many comments you got. <laughs> you know? 
I mean, we, we fucking did it, man. That's you know? cool, man. So you came here because you thought it could, it could, you know, it now could help, we get it another could help you out. Well, to all, I, all I know is that every time that that we get together, they love me for me, and not necessarily for the music. And that's all you, know? you want. And I really, you know, if they love me because I, I'm a nutcase, then I'm. You want down. them to love your music too? Uh, yeah, yeah. But I, could, you know, I can do some movies, man. Well, Teddy, yeah, we're, talking, do, that, we're talking. We're talking about something different. Some if you movies. want to interject about some movies, I mean, I'm not tell talking us. about like Shakespeare, you know. Is it better to be a nut job or a nut case? It's a good question. And it's, it's and, very if, close. and what's the rule of thumb on that? The rule of thumb is this: it's very is close, this. Adam. If you want to go to court and have a have a case, you want to have a nut case. If you want to get a blowjob, you have a nut job. I would rather get a blowjob from a nut case. And if I have to go to court, I'd rather have a nut job with me because at least they're doing their job yeah. instead of just holding a briefcase. That's a good point. That's well done. Yeah. Yeah. And you need a good lawyer. Well, hey, I got a news flash for you. You can find a lawyer that is not both a nut job and a nut case, and I'll suck your dick and eat your ass and lick your clit and play with your nipples, make out with you, and give right. you a child. You find a lawyer. Hi. You find a lawyer. <laughs> hi, are you looking for a squirrel? Are you looking for a squirrel attorney? A squirrel oh, attorney? Boy. Are you hi? Are you looking for a squirrel attorney to handle your nut case? Uh, listen, my my uh, Angelo. <laughs> I rise. <laughs> I rise. You know what? I think um, Amir said that uh, once. But, and I, uh, uh, that's some, Amir K. Shout yeah, out shout to Amir, Amir K. 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 Yeah, Amir K. Amir. So uh, he, he said, uh, I think someone's, no, maybe that was, no, I think Amir's was this joke. Amir used to do, uh, I think his roommate or so, a friend of his used to always go, but, um, and he would always go, chick, like, but, um, chick. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. By the but way. But we can't say that anymore. Nope. Dude, weed's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I will get to, let's yeah. get to it. There was a thing in my fraternity, by the way, at USC, where it was uh, Stony Creation Night, where because um, people called us a, our friend A E Pi A Pi people was called A E High, which is a very Jewish fraternity. A E High. I turned a shofar into a bong, um, but I'm kink. I said that by Whoa, the way. You can't say that. What? What? Say but I'm Asian American. <laughs> That's Adam Ray on Read the Room. Oh, no, it's not a show. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's why. Amir and Adam have something in common. That's right. Besides both being very, very, very funny comics. Oh. They're both engaged to be married. Amir, Yay. Wait, is Amir engaged? I read it on his Instagram the other day. Yes. Whoa. Excuse me if I'm wrong, Amir, but I thought you were getting engaged. Well, let's, oh, let's, let's get to the bottom Amir? of this right can, now. Can we call Amir? Well, you said you read it on his Instagram. Yeah, why yeah, would he but, lie about that? But who knows if, you know, I was coherent. I also what have do you to, mean? I have, I have a personal thing. Wait, well, well, we'll talk afterwards. Yeah. After this. I also interject again. What if that's what again. your doctor said? I have a personal thing. We'll talk after your yeah. checkup. And you're like, wait, what? Nobody yeah, this answers is very, very personal. You must know it's me. Nobody answers the phone anymore. Amir, answer the fucking phone. You could leave a message. Yeah. The only one's going to answer Wait, the phone leave, is your mom. Leave a message and tell him that you're outside his house. <laughs> or just texted. Okay, he'll call us back. Okay. okay. My son, Daniel. Yes. In, has been going out with the, the most lovely girl for ten, 10 years, Mimi Packer. 10 year engagement. And There's uh, a movie out, five year I'll engagement. You, if this yeah. could be if the you're going out of town and using a nutcase, you could definitely use a Mary Packer. He <laughs> proposed last month. Great. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. Mazel tough. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank say? you very much. She said yes. Yes. And the ring is cute and uh cute. Cute. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. It's, no, it's cute. She, she 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 loves the ring. The ring. Is cute. It's, it's it's good. How much did you spend on the ring? Like, I didn't uh, I don't want to go there. My socks are cute. I, I I offered to give him thousands to help him and he won't do it himself. So I'm wow. very right. very Can proud of him. That. Yeah. What and about that guy that 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 uh, was paying off his his um, wife's engagement ring or wedding ring? And Shaq, you guys see this video? See this? No, I missed Shaq that. showed up and, and uh, paid for the and rest paid of the for ring. It. And a lot well, of people Shaq said, "Shaq is that kind of guy." Yeah. How about your engagement ring? It's coming. It's uh, coming. Oh, you, oh, you, you proposed and you don't have the ring yet? Mm. I proposed with one of those little uh, what are they called? Fruitios. Oh, I'm glad. No, I, I'm no. glad. I'm, I'm What's put, a fruitio? What are you, were you doing? I'm an glad Adam I'm here Sandler to push Adam. <laughs> Adam, get her a nice ring. No, okay. well, it's already happened. Wait, what right, did you good. propose with? What, what kind of ring? A ring. A uh, good one. Wait, Wait I don't my, understand. My when you proposed, did you get a, down on your knee? Yeah. Give us a story. Where yeah. were you? Did it in Seattle? Uh, popped out of a hot tub cake, which for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a cake that's next to a hot tub. 
Oh, so it's just a cake. Yeah. There's a person. Well, pop how do you out pop out of it if it's just a regular cake? You pop out of the hot tub. A person pops out. Oh, that's misleading. You pop out of a hot tub with a cake. No, no, the hot tub is shaped like a cake. There's oh. a cake. All hot tubs are shaped like a cake. There's a. Sh- <laughs> that's a rule of thumb. <laughs> Get it out of my ass. <laughs> okay. No, you're just so a nut job. I got down on one knee. And, Wait, but hold uh, on. What's the, the hot tub thing? In your bathing suit? Yeah. Yeah. So and you're not in your birthday suit. Which is naked. And he began Wait, hold pray. on. We'll explain the birthday cake. Hot, or is that a joke? <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, Very okay. funny. Oh, Adam Ray, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. So you get out of the jacuzzi. By the way, there's a place called Tubs in Seattle. Little wine? <laughs> don't mind if I don't. <laughs> it's a place where strangers rent hot tubs to fuck each other. And you know didn't who, know that until I was an adult. You know who runs it? Who? Sunny Tubs from Miami Vice. Oh, dude, if he doesn't, I'm going to be real pissed. I want my money All back. Right, come on. So you're in the hot tub. So I'm in the hot tub. Does I, she have any idea of you? No clue. I have my anything? sister take her out to get uh, some. Nails done, and I have my nieces hold up a sign. Or all of them. One nail. (laughs) (laughs) The biggest one. (laughs) That's the rule of thumb. (laughs) Get it out of my ass. It's the rule of the big toe. (laughs) Get that Uh, out of my ass, too. (laughs) Okay, we'll be right. So go ahead. Where we are right now. (laughs) Keep it here. (laughs) Fuck it, we'll do it live. Um, So uh, I have a song playing. I have a whole... Uh, Is that the song? If you had that song, (laughs) is this the one you would have proposed to? Adam? Get down! Adam, if this song was available to you, would you have proposed to this song? No. Okay. Um, ooh. <laughs> ooh, let's all do ghost impressions. What song? The uh, what's the other song that today? I'm what's, forcing this. I'm what's sorry, the, guys. What's the other song that you uh, played, Teddy? Um, how, how does the uh, let me interject you? Is that the Sinatra version? And we'll have a real good time. Talking to yes, Mike, sir. you got here. We'll have you, and we'll have a real good time. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't know yet. We'll have a real you got a Joe Cocker thing, a little bit of um, it can't be a Joe Cocker thing because Joe Cocker. Doesn't do anything original. He covers somebody Ooh. every time. Ooh. You guys wanted beef. You got it. Steve Glassman, Joe Cocker listen, on the podcast listen. talking about unoriginal songs I got and no, what it's like to be a cover singer. I got no, My name's Rick Glassman, and Dad has something to say. I got no problem with Joe Cocker, okay? But all of his hits are, you know, covers. That's why he's not in the Rocker Hall of Fame. Why Jay Giles isn't in the Hall of Fame. That's I do dad not know. on music. All right, I want to what? hear the end of the engagement story, oh, please, so real quick. So what, I got that on one knee, had a little party, had, had some. Uh, you said, what did you say? Just simply cross this out, Perry. Blah, 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 blah. Will you marry me? What? I had what some personal that? words. Some. Um, what does that mean? You know, kind of. I kind of. I got real nervous. I, a lot of a lot of things I prepped. Really? I wanted to do. You know, like. You know, Brent Morin bits, and I wanted to say something. Uh, what kind of Brent Morin bit would you want to do? Uh, Fall my, down my when fa- you're on your knees. My favorite Brent Morin bit is, uh, what's your name? I don't have a name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Brent Morin does that a little bit better than you. Yeah, that's why he has a Netflix special. Uh, I proposed, and then she said yes, and now we're um, we're waiting until... Uh, the date, and then we'll do it officially. Yeah, let's hear it for Adam Ray. He's taking the big step. Don't know about kids. Can we try an Amir K again? No. I was gonna see if we could get Brent on the phone to do the bit. Oh, right. But no one's answering our fucking phone. Yeah, this is sad news, bears. Ooh, you know what? We, let's do a prank call. That I would love to do. Who are we pranking? Doesn't matter. What's your Rex's <laughs> number? No, don't prank the Rex. <laughs> I wanted you to do it. Here, prank, prank, uh, Strass. Hello? Hi, is this Ron Gladish? This is Ron. Um, my, uh, Amir, my dad. Uh, let's see if this works. Dad, could you hear my dad, Amir? Is this Amir hey. K? Amir. Is this Steve Glassman? Yeah, the dude. How you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? All right, listen, I got to ask a question. We're doing a podcast here, and one of my good friends, Adam Ray, is here who got engaged, and he's getting married. 
Oh wow! Congrats! Hell and I yeah, said, dude. Congrats, I think, Adam. I think I read on an Instagram that you also are engaged. Oh no, that's that's inaccurate. We, that's yeah. what I said. You mean you broke up yeah, with her? A, no, no, we're still together. Um, we're still together. It, it's my girlfriend, but we're not engaged. Ooh. Ooh. I think she wants to be engaged. <laughs> yeah, we here. have a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Amir's girlfriend, Sarah Simon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hold on a second. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> What's up, Crank? Adam, congratulations uh, no, on the no, engagement, no. bro. No, no, this is this is Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you know what's funny is I never get the invite to come smoke with you and cousin Teddy, dude. Adam always gets the invite. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's not fair. That's so not fair. So if that's what it takes, if you guys need me to get engaged to get get an invite, then I'm get I'm it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. engaged. Adam, listen. listen the cousin okay, Teddy's Adam, here, and Amir, I said, let's go, baby. Amir, you have an let's open invitation this. on my dime to come in here for a podcast <laughs> anytime you are available. You just so fucking Dude, busy I, all the time you're the busiest see, I stand miss up you in the and business. i miss debbie adam ray i see him all the time rick i never get to My see adam uh, dad actually uh, amir has some big news amir's growing his hair out for a new movie role that's right tell yeah, him about it amir I, oh yeah well i'm not in the movie i'm just watching godfather 3 next week i want to make sure it's uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Uh, he's so fucking funny, this a Amir. He's so fucking <laughs> Amir, Amir, real Amir, quick. Will you do the spelling me bit? Yeah, we, we have a we have a we have a, a <laughs> great a quick. big platform with a lot, big comedian fans, most of which unfortunately don't like female directors. I don't understand why, and I think female directors are better than guys. But my question is, since you have this audience at your disposal, what's the best bit that you could do that's under a minute and a half? Oh, geez. Well, I try. I I can't. I was tired. I couldn't call you right now because I was trying to donate my hair. You know, for lots yeah, of love. Donate this. Lots of love. This. Do a fucking bit. He's doing one, Dad. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hey, I missed hold on. That no, I did. Steve, okay. I'm telling you, I, I I was trying to donate the hair, and uh, you know, I've been growing it out for a while, and and I I send the guy an email. I go, what's the process? The guy goes, hey man, shoot us a picture of your hair, and we'll get it going. So I send the guy the email. He writes me back like two seconds later. He's like, hey, man, these kids have it bad enough. You think they want gray hair? Oh, that's Rick, a weird thing. That's what I mean. Oh, that's great. Great. Amir, I do. Wait, Amir, I heard, uh, I heard your dog just got... Uh, just had a procedure done. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes. yeah, man. Yeah, it was $7,200. I had to just oh, get a surgery for, for your, my dog. For yeah. Fun. How's the yeah, dog? Steve. How's it do? How's fake he doing? Tits, fake tits ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beer K, everybody. K, man, what's your website? Sure. Hey, I just got three. I just got a great offer from HBO. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's Amir K doing other people's yeah, jokes. Right so. <laughs> Fraser Smith's joke. That's Fraser. Amir K is Fraser Smith. Thank you, Fraser. <laughs> wait, wait. Do your best. Wait. Everyone do their best Fraser joke. Seriously, though. All right. Are we I doing think that is, that's joke? my favorite one. The one Amir did. Okay. The one. Yeah, I just got a big offer from HBO. Oh wow! Three what? months, three months for nineteen ninety nine. Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy liked that one. Up here. Do some more Fraser jokes. Those are killing better than yours. <laughs> I know, man. I got a Fraser. Well, Fraser's are good. I got Adam's a Fraser. You do one, Adam. Adam, do you do one? I got a Fraser joke. He goes. Uh, he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, the uh, economy is getting real tough, huh? It's uh, this is by the way pre-Chase Bank. This is when Washington Mutual was a bank. He goes, yeah, uh, Washington Mutual slogan, uh, you know, before the depression was Wahoo. Now it's holy shit. <laughs> That's Fraser Smith. Everybody will put his Instagram handle up here. I like the HBO. Fraser's the best. They're all just What's the okay. other one. He goes, no, it was, Fraser's I was watching, great. They're classic one-liners. What I said. That joke. Amir, the, Amir, the, listen. joke was better. We're trying well, to... Dad hates Joe Cochran. I don't know what Adam's beef with <laughs> Fraser Smith is, but we should knock it out. Fraser, you're invited to come on the podcast with Adam Ray, my dad, Joe Cocker, and me, and we're going to iron out the details. Right, here's the story, do, do a boxing match between Adam Ray and Fraser Smith. For a while. And Brad, I think that would and Brad be a Williams super teller. Will, Brad Williams will refer, referee. Yeah. Amir, look. Oh, I, we're I wouldn't have anybody else. We're trying to get together where you, Brent, Adam, and and my son Rick. Richard, yeah, Rick, <laughs> Rick, Rick, yeah, come into town, well, do a club, spend it, you know, do a couple shows, and all you guys stay at my house and get fucked up and do a podcast oh and God, have a great dude, time. That's a dream. I'm living it that's right now, dream, Amir. It's, yeah. it's, uh, that's it's minus a dream, the show. Steve. It's fun. Wait, are you over there? Are you over yeah, there? Yeah, my cousin Teddy oh. flew in from New York. His oh, arms are tired. Adam flew in from L.A. It's His arms are tired. And, and we're all in my living room. 
Dude, I wish I was there. It sounds so. How's Debbie doing, man? I haven't seen your mom in a long yeah, time. Yeah, she loves you a lot, Amir. She knew you when we were know, talking and... to you. She'd come in and say, "Oh, Amir, hi, sweetheart, how are you?" <laughs> oh man, I remember the open mic days. Dude, and your mom would come and watch. I was so funny. She too. was your best fan, man. Oh, All right. that's great. I'm gonna let you go, Amir. Thanks no, for hold thanks on, for man. calling back, yet. Amir. Thanks yeah, for we appreciate calling you. Back. And congratulations when you guys get married. We'll have you over. Awesome, dude. I love you guys. Love uh, you, buddy. Cheers. You Bye, All bud. Right. That's Fraser Smith. We'll put his Instagram handle. I'll tell you something about Amir. I just saw Amir recently. He's gotten big into fishing. Was talking my ear off about fishing, how he loves it. Amir and I were on a show at the Improv. I went up. I was like, dude, leave some meat on the bone. This guy was crushing so hard. He was in the crowd. I was like, dude, that's the next level of your show that you got to truly push a little bit more. Because he's so engaging and so good with, uh, with the crowd. And when I saw him in the crowd, I was like, dude, that's some like comedy Tony Robbins shit. You know? It's Amir K. Put his Instagram handle up here. If Tony Robbins starts doing stand-up, we're fucked. Because of how tall he is? I heard that he's so big because there was a tumor on his pituitary gland and it pushed some extra HGH into his body. Mm. Spell pituitary. P-U-T-E-T-E-R-Y. All right. You spell it now. P... E. Let me hear you get you. Pituitary. <laughs> it's the most, this would be the most fun national script spelling bee of all time. <laughs> Use it in a sentence, please. My pituitary gland was squeezed from a tumor. I got some HGH. I'm huger. Then I'm a Do I have to dip? And that's when you know your, hand, your answer has to come in. You have to give your answer right after the explosion. Wait, can I use that dance in a sentence, please? Here, give me. Let's. What? Let me hear you you. P e t i t u a r y. Pituitary. That's a great song, Teddy. That's a great song. It's all for you, Ben. It's all for you, Ben. All right. Well, now what? <laughs> Who's your favorite Care Bear? <laughs> Just, I don't care, Bear. Yeah. You know what? I, I feel myself sometimes on this podcast because I, I want it to go a certain way and I'm not sure how it's going to go. Like I spent too much time thinking about the equipment and not enough about anything else Bad, there's a lot yeah. of stuff you can cut to yeah so, you know but you i can... just i just get really i i'm sorry to you guys i feel myself sometimes getting a little short and mean or just like uh, uh, and uh it's a little controlling of me take some more chocolate let's just smoke more yeah or take a two-minute break you know take a look like a little yeah why don't why don't we i think we should take a two-minute break just yeah, we come we come back we're my, just just, I just covered in my, like ketchup i that, just took I my two-minute two minute break but yeah oh well, yeah, yeah you, ketchup guys, is used. you guys we do we do have chick-fil-a we yeah got, but i would yeah. like to know in the comments from all because i have such a diverse audience what you guys what your opinion is and two two separate things i want you to leave in one comment what you think about chick-fil-a the food and then does that keep you or what is your opinion on the politics of it i would like to know that what do you guys think? Is that an interesting poll to take? All right, poll oh, to take. Teddy, talk you gotta to the mic, talk Teddy. in the mic, man. Right. Talk in the fucking mic. Right. Just move the, the, mic food the food is good. The food is good. The food is good. That was worth the, the price politics of are not fucking crazy. You know, I mean, like, if he doesn't want to sell on Sunday, what the fuck are you gonna do? You know, I guess get it, get extras it, on Saturday. You know, it's I mean, the Jews don't do the uh, Saturday thing in. Uh, at at B and G, right? Was it B? And, is it? Yeah, man, the uh, the man. big uh, Teddy audio you, place. Teddy, you strike up small talk with people at bus stops. What's that? Yeah, Debbie does. If we were at a bus Uncle stop, Uncle Bob right just now. called yeah. me. I think it has something to do with his appearance. So since you're right up, why don't you call him? Yeah, you would. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a good. Uh, and folks, when we call Uncle yeah, Bob, it makes people and we feel to, uh, you know. See how many times part he of says, the universe, "Yeah, no." You know? Lots of people say people that. People want to be by seen. The way. Right, oh, so yeah. if you Sorry, recognize him, hey, hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, yeah. Nobody's listening <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be friendly, you know. Try. Hey, to Rick. Be. Hey, do you just call me? What? You just call me. This isn't Rick. This is your brother. Your yeah, phone. Your phone's fucked up. Um, no, I uh, called just to see if you wanted me to come over this afternoon. Well, let's I, put it. Let's put it down here right now, folks. Goblins, you want Uncle Bob to make an appearance? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Right, then yeah, yeah, come on over, Uncle Bob. Come on over, Uncle Bob. What's your? You don't know? Okay. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, come on yeah, over. Yeah, come over. How long till you get here? Uh, probably half an hour or so. Um, great, great. All right. Do you want me to play the mute game with him, or does that mean? See you in a little bit. No, tune Uncle, up, tune up, Uncle your... Bob. I have a question for you. Do you have a little penis? Yep. 
<laughs> All right. See you soon. See you, bud. Bye. Hey now. Hey, hey now. He goes, he goes, he goes Do you have a small penis? He goes, yeah. Yeah, that was perfect. Time. All right. Well, uh, it might be a half hour for us, but it'll be any moment for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Oh, we're still not recording, right? Nah. Okay. Give me a smoke, Darlene. <laughs> I connect people's internet. Niche, specialized, shit. geographic location. Two one one. Hey now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Uncle Bob. Hey, Unky. You don't even have to do a minute. It's a cameo. And we're back, goblins. Oh, and, and Bob's with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob only has a minute or two, but... Hey, now. <laughs> oh! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Wow, look yeah. at that. We could spend just a whole like... minute just going, hey, now. Oh! <laughs> I just want to say that when I was in my band, which was a pretty famous little band in the 1980s, Bob... Of all the family members, I have how, a lot of family. A lot of family. Didn't a lot of family. He's a little family. Okay. Teddy said, my favorite cousin. Is that true? true. Mom. Absolutely. How many cousins? Oh, yeah. Mom. Uh, do you have? Because um, that's you a bold statement. A not, He's not, that, not that many. I have, a, I have a small family. I have a small family. I have a small family. He was the only sure. one who came out live to see the group in person. That's that's a big yeah, that's Uncle okay. Bob. That's, and that's Bob goodness. saw me at my peak. No one of you motherfuckers have ever seen well, me. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me I would argue that many of our audience, thankfully, gets to see you at your peak because, Teddy, every time you come here, you manage to get better. Yes, but it's this better. was, this was I was 24. And I had six what keyboards flying, right? In fairness to oh. Adam and Ricky, well, Dad, Dad, they were going to interject. Oh. By the way, whoever's talking, if somebody wants to interject, just put this, the thing up. In, in, fair, anyway, in fairness to Ricky. I have to say yeah, that Ricky. Bob came out <laughs> and like saw the, saw the real deal and is the only one left that has seen the real deal. You were like David Bryan that night. Thank you, man. Bon Jovi, <laughs> keyboard player with keyboards all both. around. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Okay, well, that was Uncle Bob. That's Uncle, Uncle Bob. Bob. Wait, 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 wait. Just give me a few I questions. I got, here, Bob, I, saw, I got out of here somewhat unscathed. And maybe, by the way, maybe Bob, Adam saw, wants to ask him a few no, questions. I just want, to, just want to say, Bob, I saw some things on Facebook with the boys, the kids. They're beautiful. Thank They're you. They're beautiful. Switch with Teddy for a second. Ask Thank Uncle you. Bob. Okay. I want Uncle Bob to meet. Here, Teddy, yeah, let Adam sit there for a minute. Okay, let me switch up. Here, Bob. Let me hear you. Bob? Yes. It's great to see you. Adam? Pleasure. Always. Uh, you're fitting right into the end of that couch like you should be here because we want you here and we're glad you're here. I think that's safe to say the cat's got an extra pep in their step when you walk through that door. Now, my question to you is what's your favorite food? Adam with the hard hitting questions today. Thanks for showing up. Uncle Bob's favorite food. He's into it. I think I know. You do? Great. See, this is 
Well, I would say I would, trivia. I would say uh, and, and and guide me along this way. We we like spicy, but we don't want to hurt the tongue. We want the flavor of the spice. Uh, I know we don't like dairy, so the cuisine isn't hard to say. Some type of Asian, maybe a Chinese food. It's pretty close. I'd say <laughs> Indian. Oh, really? your favorite food? <laughs> Been my brother all my life. I didn't even know. I mean, he ate other Indian than food. a steakhouse. A steak. Idea. Steakhouse is probably my favorite. Yeah. Now, me too. Follow up question. Glad you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> hey, interjection. Adam. Yeah. About four or five years ago, Robert and I and my other son Matthew went to Seattle to watch the Indians open against the Seattle Super Seattle Mariners. It was Ichiro's last game. He came out of right wow. field and blah, blah, blah. It was a great game. But what Robert will be interested in, and maybe you could share with him your your last experience at, what's the name of the field? Safeco? T-Mobile Park. It was Safeco. Right. Previously, Park. Safeco, yeah. So Adam's from Seattle. From Seattle. His arms are Not at all impressed by that fact. Boy, his arms are tired. No, he likes shit. Seattle. His arms are tired. Seattle. Seattle is uh, a sweet city. It's where oh, I uh, the baseball, found my love baseball. for comedy. So I think I could say Seattle, I, I got here. to be on the uh, big screen. They put me up on on the Diamond Vision uh, to like welcome like fans of the game, and so they uh, they put us up there. I wanted to have my seven year old nephew do this dance where he pops in between my legs and puts his hand on his crotch and does like a weird dance. I wanted that to be what we had on Jumbotron, but he couldn't make it, so we just waved. I mean, he was his whole picture, like in the middle of the fourth inning. There's Adam Ray, comedian. Whole Seattle, thing up right? on the whole thing. Yeah. He also has gotten to throw out the first pitch at that stadium. Now that's a dream come true. Who is playing? Ooh, Robert with the hard comeback Great question. question. Jesus, yes. was not prepared. How about a pre-interview next time? Yeah. Was it Tacoma? Was it the AAA Wait team in Tacoma? You, you pitched a game and you didn't even pay attention no, to. Who, threw in no, the first it was for pitch. the Mariners. Oh, it was for the Mariners. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. They were playing. But I remember I did do this. I threw I threw a strike. I got so excited. I hit, hit my chest and did like the Randy Johnson point to the sky. Then I chased down the catcher who who caught it, and I was gonna jump up on him and like knock him to the ground. But I was like, if he gets hurt, that'll be a, probably a lawsuit. <laughs> so then I just grabbed him. I hugged him really tight, and 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 I go, I go, I go, I go. Uh, it's what a great feeling. And he goes, all right, man. And I was I hugged him like too long. I didn't let yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden he just goes, all right, man. He goes, you did it. And I pulled him close, and I go, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more quick story. Tell him, tell him the Adam Silver story. Adam is Adam is friends with, with the, Adam with the Silver. guy who with the commission with the Biafran. Looks like he weighs about one hundred and five pounds. He eats he eats fruit roll ups and diet Shasta. My God, I saw him the other day. I thought they had. He's got the he's got the body I that thought, we all want. I thought that one of those yeah. irons had fallen in like in a cartoon and just like squished squished him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a shout out to Adam yeah. Silver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still want to get on the All Star Celebrity but, game. But that yeah. should only happen. That should now. only happen to Rob Manfred. And be real. <laughs> I don't know what any of you what you're saying means. Rob Manfred but it seems is the like you're bullying people. Baseball. Idiot commissioner of baseball. Robert has. Oh, what's your take on the on commissioner that? of baseball? Hey, Adam, we put him in in post. Your timing is horrible. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, bud. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Wait a minute, but he doesn't do the Adam Silver story first. Oh, right. So he's at the uh, NBA Awards, and he's, uh, he's talking to some, some big money fellas, and I walked over, and we started shooting the shit, and I said, hey, have you ever heard of the Take Your Shoes Off podcast? And he goes, yeah, I have. Is that where I got called like a, a default from a Looney Tune accident by Uncle Bob? And I go, That's yes. more of an anvil than an iron. An iron just feels like it messes yeah. like this, make, it gives him a big but hand. But made of iron. You're right. It's an uh, like it's safe. <laughs> I don't think that's what you meant. No, I meant the material that the thing that fell out of it is. That's like saying uh, a, a, a bunch of wood landed on the Wicked Witch of the West. What did a house landed on her, right? Well, it's made of wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when we come back, we're going to teach you guys how to make a cool holiday belt. <laughs> Stick around. I would love to now go into the basement with mom. Oh, I would love to make a holiday belt. She has the things to make yes. the, the, the belt loose. There's a craft show downstairs waiting for mom's craft corner. I would love to. I would love to. Uncle Bob, do you and know that's the, the commercial? O that's OJ. What? What? That's an OJ soundbite. Okay. <laughs> that we're going to use in mom's craft corner commercial? What are you talking about? Can. Oh, you're just doing some sound bites? 
Were you doing an OJ was, impression? I think that he was, was. That was a Stern sound. Yeah, I was going to say, I think how Uncle Bob watched so much Stern. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got it. Now, when you used to always say, hey, now, I never realized you were. I always thought you were saying it from the Gary Shandling show. Who, wh- which, is, uh, yes. which, which is made out of wood. Which is why Stern says it, right? Come on, yeah, that was a good it, analogy, wasn't it? Yes, it was a good analogy. Because, because uh, can I explain it? it? it it's at first, it was an homage. It's an homage, an homage. to Gary Shandling. Yes, a homage. Well, not to Gary Shandling, <laughs> but to... Uh, well, yeah, he likes to, Gary. Yeah. He loved Gary he loved Shandling. Gary Shandling. <laughs> no, but, but Hey Now is... is um, From the Gary is, Shandling uh, show. Hank. Yes, Hank, what's his, his last real name? name that he was in another series as... Jeffrey so, Tambor. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. But it's Hank something. Schwartz. Man, what a great show. It really was. You know, I went on Stern. <laughs> I was talking about the Gary you Shandling show. Adam right? was on Stern? As Johnny Depp. I got to ch- ch- chat with Stern as Johnny Depp. Could I, do, do you think little, I could, do do think I could put up a clip? No. Well, <laughs> do a little Johnny Depp yeah, right do a little Johnny Depp could, Actually, you could, yeah. You be Johnny Depp, you be Howard Stern. Actually, I'll yes. give you some of the audio. I can never be Howard. You can say, hey, now. Right. Well, well, we've said it all. What haven't we said that we've said today, huh? <laughs> We've said it all. <laughs> That's the. Uh, well, Johnny Depp would say something like, I'm hanging out here with my three favorite men. Uh, we've got uh, all the guys who we've got, like to get high. Uh, who, who doesn't like to get fucked up and walk the oval late at night looking for Chick fil A? Uh, yes. Yes. Anyway, Uncle Bob's here saying very weird things about NBA commissioners. Oh. 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 Don't cancel me. Huh? Give me some whiskey. Ah, on the pirate ship. Oh. Debbie, Craft Corner. That's Adam Ray, folks. Oh, that was Johnny Depp. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp in the Craft Corner. Cleveland, Ohio is my second I'm favorite I'm really place. bad at doing voices. Could you give me a little exercise, and I want to see if I could try that. Let me see if I could do that, Johnny Depp. So, first of all, just Yes, Johnny Depp. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> very interesting get a little British affectation. Can it lower your voice? Almost like you're mumbling. I'm oh, yeah, so pretty good. good. It's very good. Um, uh, no, I wonder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, lower, even lower, though. As low very, as you can go. Very good. Uh, now, yeah. up that a little bit. Very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Now, now in the back, uh, no, now in the back no. of your throat. Oh, yes. Um, my and name's Johnny Depp. In the yeah, back of your I, throat more. In the back of your throat. Like, my like, just, name's Johnny Depp. Almost don't even try it. Nope. Like, almost don't even, like, almost just let it be my, sitting. My there. name's Johnny Depp, and I'm wondering if, what is the difference between. No, see, that's more like, hey, my name's Johnny Depp, Hello. All right. Oh my God, Martha! Oh gosh, Robin, that's, 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 that's two comedians from 1991. Everybody, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm really dating ourselves. Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob. <laughs> do you know any really impressions? Do you know any jokes that like you know the beats of it? It doesn't have to be the funniest joke in the world, but do you? Everyone has to know one joke. Yes. No. You know, you don't I know don't, one joke. Not off the top of my head. A knock knock joke. Wait, not off anywhere. Could, no, you've, not even any Adam. I, I love jokes, but not good you at can't retaining remember, them. Really, no, really not one. What if we gave you one to read, Adam? Oh, Adam. He's in his entire life, he knows one joke. You know what? You know what the main difference between you and me is. You're more likable, but I get to the bottom of things. We don't need Uncle Bob to read some stupid joke. He knows. You, you have to. Teddy, right, Teddy knows a joke. joke. You come over here. You tell us your joke. Wait. Right. You got to go around. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just more situational humor and I love observational. It. I love it. I feel yeah, that. Right, well, well, here. Let Teddy do Teddy. But I do like yeah. jokes. Yeah. Like. I'm going to silence this. Okay, so uh, this guy's building a patio, you know, and in the backyard, and he um, he uh, projects that it's going to be, uh, he, you know, he measures everything. And it's, it looks like it's going to it's going to take a, a hundred bricks to put this thing together. He's going to do it himself, and um, his wife looks out in the backyard and says, you know, yep. I think the brick is gonna, it's a nice idea. Let's go, let's go over to Home Depot and get the bricks. So he goes over to Home Depot, gets 100 bricks, right? He comes back, he starts laying it out. First hour, he's got, the, got it, looks, starting to look good. His wife comes out and says, Mac, this looks really good, man. He's really, really, you, you, this is you just got a story this. or? No, out of, it's, out of, it's, out of please. It's, you, it's, got it. you, know, you got it. So, you know, um, this is hard because I, I don't, I don't do, 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 do jokes. And um, so, uh, you know, we're now down to like 500 bricks. And his wife, his wife comes out and says, shit, Max, this, looks, this really looks good. 
you're really doing a great job. I can't believe, I, you know, you're a, you know, Jewish guys don't usually uh, are good, are good at this stuff, there you know. It is. So, uh, you know, he's he's excited. Like, his wife's loving this thing. Now we're down to like you know 900 bricks. We were down to five. You added 400. So, so we're down to like 200. Now bricks. he's now he's back to he's put down 900 bricks. Oh, already. oh, oh, he's oh. put down. So there's that 100 left. Yeah. So he's not. So she, he calls in. He says, Martha, come out. You got to see this thing. It looks fucking amazing. She comes out and goes. This is, you you did such a great job. This is amazing. <laughs> so he, he he gets down like 91, 92, 93. It's almost done. He goes, and he, he can't he can't he can't find the hundredth brick. Oh. You know, fuck! I, I fucked this up. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, wait, uh, wait, great wait. Sound. There's got to be an <laughs> ending to Uncle this. Uncle Bob, no, here it is. No, Uncle no, Bob. No, no. What's no, no, no. the no, ending? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got no, oh, what? I got I got one more. I got one more oh. joke. Oh, one more joke. Wait, well, well, yeah, well, no, what about no, no, I, I, no. I fucked the other one up. It's totally fucked. Try it again. Just start over. No, okay. no, no. Okay, he couldn't. He couldn't find. Right. He couldn't find the last well, one. He so he goes, "Son of a brick." No. Sorry. All right. Listen. <laughs> No, no, fuck that. That, that was good. good. We're, we're, yeah, do it again. Good. You're right. You're right. Do it again. So we're on no, it. Do it again. Do it again. He couldn't find the last one, so he goes, "Son of a brick." Yeah. <laughs> Better performance too. Not, Better performance that was too. Not the right. Not Angry. The right. Yeah, I, one more time. One up. more time. We're doing, but do it. No, but do two it cuts angry. is always enough. Yeah. Two cuts is always enough. Coming yeah. this fall. All right. Because you know why? Because the third cut is the deepest Cheryl Crow said that <laughs> no, uh, yeah, she did. She did. are you clapping no. for Cheryl Crow I well was, I just uh, thought right. that I wanted to, all right so listen I wanted there's to a guy, know, I booed the other a, joke there's a guy on a bus right? <laughs> <laughs> every good joke starts he's smoking this way. a cigar yeah he's smoking a cigar and, then, and when you could smoke a cigar right. on a bus right <laughs> we'll cut and, to a clip of that time right right and there's a woman next to him and she's got a little dog and she goes over to him and says, "Sir, please, could you put the cigar out? My dog is, is, is getting getting really nauseous." <laughs> and the dog, do, the, she says, "Lady, it's a free bus. Bus. I'm smoking my cigar. Fuck you." Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, really, yeah, it was a different time. It was a different time. So, it's back uh, when you could smoke a cigar she, on the bus. She got really pissed off. You know? Wait, let's act that scene out. She quick. went over to the bus. <laughs> okay. She went goes over to the bus driver. The bus driver says, this, "Listen, the law says he can smoke." <laughs> He can smoke. Try it. So she's pu he's puffing away. <laughs> Finally, the, the dog is like coughing and shit, right? <coughs> the dog is coughing. And she goes back over to the guy and says, listen, please, please the girl. just throw it out. Just listen. get rid of the, get rid of the fucking, put it out. Please put it out, right? Please put it out, right? And, and, he, and, he's, and he says, fuck you, right? So this woman is like, now she's semen. The dog is. Wait, 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 wait. She's, she's fucking. What? She's seeming. She's seeming. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. 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 <laughs> right. She's seeming. She's fucking I, pissed off. She's like, she says, fuck this guy. Wait, Uncle Bob she, has a joke. No, no, well, no, I just let me, she let me was in the Navy. She was let me a finish it. Yeah. 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 Right. All right, right. <laughs> she goes, oh, one of them. She runs over to the guy. She pulls out the cigar out of his mouth and throws it out the window. <laughs> right. The guy freaks out, <laughs> throws her dog out the window. Okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. A, the, a block goes by. She's screaming at the at at the conductor. Stop the fucking bus! My dog! My blah 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 blah. So he finally stops oh the bus. My God. But and, and she looks back. And she's looking back. No, she's looking back. Who's coming down the fucking road? The chick the with dog. the bricks. The dog. The dog? <laughs> My name is Rick Glassman. That's Uncle Bob from Meet Uncle Bob. We'll be the right back. The brick. After a word <laughs> she, from the next the thing. The fucking dog had the hundredth brick. <laughs> the dog had the hundredth brick. The <laughs> horse's <laughs> name was Friday. All right, Uncle Bob, is that it for That's you? That's the only joke Thank you for now. coming Thanks, over, Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob oh, well, Amazing. Can, tell you what people can follow. Your Twitter or anything you want to uh, plug. May I? No, no, no. He doesn't. Well, if you want to find Uncle Bob, you'll have to you'll have to do a little bit of digging. My name's Rick Glassman, and we're gonna keep going after we say goodbye to Uncle Bob. Bye, Uncle Bob. All right, we're gonna do some shots. Okay, now. I'm back. Shots. You know, my my doctor, when we we were kids, 
His name was Pomerantz. My mother made up this song, right, when we had to go get our shots from Dr. Pomerantz. She rang, she sang this song, and it went like this. Pomerantz for shots, Pomerantz for shots. And we, next thing we knew, we were at Pomerantz getting their fucking shots, and we, we didn't give a shit. Pomerantz for yeah. shots, Pomerantz for shots. Pomerantz for, for shots. shots. Right, Dr. Pomerantz. Dad, we won't be able to hear you. <laughs> Dr. Pomerantz. Sounds like a guy I'd go to. Who's checking your knees next week, Dr. Pomerantz? All right. Wait, 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 this wait, is wait, to wait, Dr. Wait, wait. Pomerantz. Here, I'll, I'll have a little sip so I could do this with you, Dad. But you never drink. Yeah, but if we're going to all, if we're, and Uncle Bob's doing it. Let's, let's give a salute to Bob. To Bob. Salute all right? to Bob. Yeah. You can't make a proper right, cheers Adam? without. Cheers. I can't play that. Oh, you can't? No, this is going to... No, I can't. No, I think a norm. Some, Every right. time you put that on, I think a norm. That's a YouTube yeah. violation begging to happen. Oh, fuck norm. Here's I saw a movie yesterday with 10 dancers and had black hair. <laughs> Maybe we'll jump cut this part. <laughs> All right, here's some oh, of our good. options that, that, for our good. cheers. Drink uh, to life and the passing show and the eyes of the prettiest girl you know. Here's a turkey when you are hungry, champagne when you are dry, a pretty girl when you need her, and heaven when you die. Here's to the nights we'll never remember, with our friends we'll never forget. That's just a Bud Light commercial. Here's to the glass we love to sow to sip, it dries many a pensive tear. Tis not so sweet as a woman's lip, but a damned sight so insincere. There are many good reasons for drinking, one has just entered my head. If a man doesn't drink when he's living, how the hell can he drink when he's dead? Here's yeah. to those okay, who Adam, it. interlude here, okay. The toast is... Cheers, guys. No, no, the to toast is... Health. The toast is, may the devil find out a half an hour after we get to heaven. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's not what it was. <laughs> That's, what it was. <laughs> That's not what it was. It was maybe, yes, yeah, so maybe we died a half what? hour before the devil finds us. Oh, uh, yeah. The whole was, point what is you read we, yesterday, may you be in oh. heaven. Uh, a half, a half hour, hour before, before the devil, devil knows you're dead. dead. There it is. There that's it where is. it is. But Cheers. also give a real one because that's one that you that you read yesterday. So, <laughs> Uncle Bob, you have to know if you don't know a joke, you have to know at least one cheers. Nastrabia. Here, microphone. Nastrabia, which means classic. Came from my grandmother. Nice. Hey, we yes. all. Hey, you know what, Uncle Bob? We all. Everyone in our family came from your grandfather. My name's Rick Glassman, and that's my rule of thumb. Get it out of my ass! <laughs> oh, to uh, to our grandfathers yeah. and mothers, yeah. who should be directing more. <laughs> and Dr. Pomerantz <laughs> for shots. Dr. Okay. Pomerantz, that's for Uncle shots. Bob. Thank you so much. You could stick around, but if you're going to use the microphone uh, yeah. and frost yourself, Dr. Pomerantz. All right, how about this? Famous doctors. We'll go around the circle. I know the most famous of them all. Who? Doogie Hauser. Great. Okay. We'll go around. Oh, now like now it's now Teddy. Talk into the mic. Salk. Salk. Dr. Okay, Salk. that's right. a good one. I would Steve. go with Dr. Kildare. Dr. Shivago. Oh, oh whoa, like whoa, yeah. yeah. Hey, ready, ready? Yeah. M very romantic. Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Yeah, we know oh, where he's from. Like Thanks. <laughs> uh, Dr. Dre from that City of Compton movie. Yeah. Heard of it. Mm. Teddy. To the mic, Ted. Uh, can we do Dr. Pomerantz again? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no rules to this yeah. game. Absolutely. Now that's Dallas. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with Dr. Ben Casey. Ooh. Ooh. Dr. Yeah. Ben Casey, Uncle Bob. Dr. J. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Dr. Oz. Ooh. Uh, Dr. Glassman. Thank you so much. What about Ricky? Well, you know, I'm not going to be too salty that he skipped. In instead, I'll be Dr. Pepper. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> and that's just what the doctor Yeah! Is that zero sugar? Oh! oh! Zero calories. Now that's a Bud Light commercial. Dr. Scholes. Yes. Oh, Dr. Quinn, Doolittle. Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. What were or we, man. What? And I feel like nobody, hold on a second. I feel like nobody's talking about this hypocrisy. Oh, oh, Santa Claus is a woman. Oh, Jesus Christ is Prove a woman. It. Well, guess what? Who else was a, guess who was a man? Who? Dr. Quinn was oh, actually a man. Big deal. Dr. Quinn versus Santa Claus and Jesus Come on. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. I'd take Dr. Santa Ricky, over Quinn Ricky, any day. <laughs> Ricky, give me the, what were the doctor's names from Scrubs? What were their character names? Oh, yeah. I don't remember. P 
Penicants. I don't know. How about Dr. Uh, Dr. Dr. Phil? How about Dr. Phil? <laughs> Dr. Phil. Uncle Bob, you've been here for not even a half hour, and you've already contributed more than anyone thought we were going to get. <laughs> right now, you are winning in the game of who's bringing more to the table, okay? Uh, us or the cat. Now, I've watched that cat for 20 minutes straight eat its own, uh, lick its own, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Bob? Balls. Its is own it, balls. It balls? <laughs> Fur ball. Fur ball. Oh, man. People, <laughs> people are... Clicking to another tab right no, now. No, they're not. This is riveting. I'm it saying up. to this tab because they were on looking at silver, oh, the price okay. of silver, who or iron, whatever. Anywho, mess it up. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, it's good. Good. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> good thing you got those Oops. shots. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pomerantz. <laughs> what does he sound like, Dr. Pomerantz? I, I can't remember. All I know is I was like five, you know, five, you know, five or six. And my mother, you know, to get us in the car, you know, she sing this fucking song and we all get in the car. And we, and we go see the I song go get Vicky. <laughs> yeah, give it to us. Uh, Vicky, I mean, Teddy. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this uh, next song to my uh, Dr. Fisher, my dentist. Um, who, who's been working on them, my teeth for the last two years. I've given him enough money to fucking buy, like, another house. And, like, I'm still... I'm still... I still got problems. Oh, you can't... You guys can't hear it. Wait. Yeah. Daddy, Wait. regardless of your teeth, you have serious problems. And for serious problems, you need serious people. And then we at Marshall Rug Gallery have to tell you that we've wow. been in business for over 120 years. Linoleum, hardwood, softwood, boners, pussies, tits, and clits. You find yourself over at Marshall Rug Gallery in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Uncle <laughs> Bob like that. We won't accept anything better than debit. <laughs> Now accepting crypt <laughs> cryptocurrency. Yes, by the way. Cut one I mean, do you know the height in a bit? <laughs> Titties, clits, and ass. I got this. We we'll also Bitcoin. be taking cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that was. Yeah. Oh, good. That was where Stop. we took it. Doogie coins. We're, going, we're taking doogie coins. Yes, baby. Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> last time in Vegas, dads, Teddy is a big, he's a big wig in the, in the, in the market, right? I mean, so you might, much. You, you might call Teddy an investment guru. Now he gave some hot tips last time that I got yeah. a lot of messages. And by the way, I've been following a lot of Teddy's advice and look at, Hey, you think these lights were free? They weren't. Prove but, it. I mean, I guess we'll put up the receipt. All right. I but, just want to uh, clarify. I want to clarify a couple things. I gave a tip of quantum scape. You're going to have to hold on a little long. Live from New York, this is the Tyso Financial Stock Update. All right, we're going to go, uh, first of all, update quantum scape. I sold it. Get the fuck out. Um, I bought Roku for the fourth time. Why? I like it. And we're going to go, we're actually going to skip all the way to the S's today. And we're going to start off with Salesforce. Love it. ServiceNow. Love it. Shopify. Love it. Smartsheet. Love it. Snowflake. Love it. Sony. Love it. Square. Double love it. And Starbucks. You got to love it. We're going to stop there today. Tomorrow we'll be back with the A's. We'll start all the way back. At the beginning of the alphabet, because I have a lot of surprises for you. Meanwhile, you know what my, my motto is? Fuck it. Buy it. Oh, you know what, Teddy? Actually, okay. we could, we, we'll, Teddy, do Teddy's, no. we'll do Teddy's investment corners, but we're going to need a jingle. So will you send me a jingle? We'll put in post here. So I'm going to say, Teddy, tell us, tell us about the investments and then wait five to 10 seconds and then you'll fill the jingle in that space. Absolutely. Hey, Teddy, uh, every, every, Teddy tell us about your investment tips. Three two, one. Hey, hey Teddy, Teddy, tell us about your investment tips. Jingle, 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 jingle. Keep that in. Right? <laughs> tips. 
<laughs> then we're going to tips. Did you say right. tits or tips? Both. Because we at Marshall Rye Gallery accept tits, tits, clits, and cryptocurrency. <laughs> I know a guy that can get you a mushu pork. Uh, <laughs> Edit that in. <laughs> we take no responsibility for, you know, uh, if you screw up. But <laughs> My lawyer. It's advice. My lawyer. It's advice. My cousin Teddy. <laughs> right. Um, Is this current advice? We're gonna, at next, next episode, we're going to have a... Uh, <laughs> Uncle Bob. Next Good. episode, we'll have a, like a two-minute financial uh, uh, segment. What do we do? What this is. This is. Yeah. You want me to, do, you want me to yeah, give me a couple of tips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. Teddy. Let's start right, the clock. Coming up, coming up, All right, but we're putting it... Daddy, do a, a placeholder for the other jingle while you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> Let's go back in time. I'm not sure what you want. You want the tips or what? Yeah, this is... Yeah. This is... Financial tips with Cousin Teddy. All right. Guys, on the record or off the please, record? Please, this, yeah. Is on, yeah. this is on the record, and I, you know, I wouldn't tell you anything that I don't own myself. Okay, that's okay. Uncle Teddy. Cousin okay. Teddy. Great. Uncle Bob. All right, today is a shitty day. I still like AMD. By the All way, right, today, guys? the market's down 800 points the day we filmed right. this podcast. So almost. AMD is, is a winner to me. Uh, if you like... Um, are we limited partnerships or that kind of a thing like a Apollo Hold on, Ted, group. Ted, Teddy, Teddy, yeah. wait, one one sec. Uncle Bob, hold on one sec. Interjection. Let me interject you. With AMD, are we talking about tips or chips? We're talking about chips. Okay. We're talking about chips. Okay, well, everything I'm talking about now is stocks, right? So here we go. You can't go wrong with Apple. I don't care what the entry point is. Hold, if you, buy it it now, if you buy it now, it, in 10 years, the fucking thing is going to go up. I happen to like a company called Arbor Realty. I like Blackstone. I like Boeing. I like Booking. I like BP. I like Bristol Myers. I like Carlisle Group, Carvana. There's a BYOB. Um, I'm going to give you Chewy, Chipotle. I like. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 Chipotle. Wait, wait. Yeah, all right. A CrowdStrike. Uh, you know, I like Facebook, obviously, uh, but uh, obviously. international business. Teddy, like, Teddy, Teddy, uh, Teddy, you give, you give, you're giving people a lot, and we appreciate that. Okay. For, but the we want your three right, best stocks. We want, we want, we're, talking, we're talking two years from now. We're happy we bought. Give right. us your three hot takes right. and defend your Vegas dad's let, one. Let me go to the S's because I really think S's are very hot right now. So S's are hot. It's in the okay, stars. Okay, so I would start with S's. I would go with Salesforce, ServiceNow. Shopify. We're looking just for three. Snowflake. Those are mine. Oh, you're talking about the liberal elites or stocks we should invest in? Okay. Those are some expensive entry points for okay. our people. They are expensive. I guarantee these things go up. Now, QuantumScape, I now, mentioned. QuantumScape was where you mentioned. We'll, I we'll, mentioned this last we'll, podcast. We'll show a clip. Well, tell, tell us. some safe stuff or stuff that you want to be risky about. Risky. Let's hear some, let's hear some, risky. some curated risky. Let's riskies. hear your, your outlook on the economy as a whole right now, okay? Are we in, are we in well, for also a, a little back, a little a quick little backstory. Teddy is the guy. The Teddy, Teddy turned 2 million into 20. I'm making these numbers up, but he's, uh, he, he's on top Listen, of his shit. QuantumScape. QuantumScape. What's our, what's our ticker symbol? We'll put it up. I don't know. Check out that. We're back. Long term. You don't have the guts for it. Get out, take the loss, move on. If you have the balls, hang in. I think you're going to make money. QuantumScape, I sold it. Get the fuck out. I yeah. want to apologize also for last uh, my, my last podcast. Um, I took the tranquilizers. You, you know, did so this joke already. We did this already? Yeah. yeah. All right, never the mind. The rhino tranks? Yeah, right, yeah, but we yeah, want to hear where you tranks. got them. Teddy, right. you, Teddy. Please, but pick up Shopify. I don't care what the cost is. It's a winner. That's yeah. your number one. Yeah, yeah I love it. Six hundred dollars stock. It doesn't matter. When I bought uh, uh, Tesla, it was seven hundred. Mm. Okay, and now look at it. It's six hundred. Yeah, but that was before the five way split. Then it split oh, five. Thirty five hundred. Okay. Right. All right. That's I'm, that's enough for leave you in my. All right, well, get, uh, my, get in the headset. Well, I have a question. Yes. Yes. Where's Jamba Juice and all this? Where's I, I would Walmart? pass on Jamba Juice. Where's Walmart is 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 is, is a um a blue a blue chip stock at this point. Now, Uncle you're, Bob, you're not going to get like gigando growth from Walmart. Okay, okay? so now what, a, man. what about like fishy crackers, animal crackers, Ritz crackers? Which of the crackers is the most popping right now? Well, that's the Bisco, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I think there's better food companies out there than Nabisco. Listen, like, right. listen, hold on, Kroger. Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, um, uh, you guys, soups. Food, Uncle, um, I would go with the. <laughs> 
Go with the go with McDonald's for God's sake. Yeah, sakes, you it's know? easy. It's there. You, know, you, know, okay, you, Uncle, you already lower. know what's going on. <laughs> you know. Oh, I, was, I was just saying you got to talk into the microphone. Or if you want to go Uncle crazy, Bob, go Uncle shake Bob fixed, I was trying to make it look like he was sucking your dick, and I was joking. But I think Chipotle's and he actually a, went back. Chipotle's said, the winner. I said, look at me. He goes, oh, no, I'm not sucking his dick. I was just <laughs> Uncle Bob, I hate how much you don't trust. The, like, like, I'm going to, you know okay. what? I'm <laughs> sorry. I, 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 I highly Uncle recommend Bob naked. Square. Buy fucking square. Okay? Uncle Listen. Bob. Listen, Teddy's Investments Corner is over. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want you to get back in the head space of what you pitched to Uncle Bob at Vegas Dads because we're going to try again for you to pitch to a real Hollywood Jewish producer. Oh, Let's see if we can get wait. him on the phone. Oh, this is just going to be everything we want it to be. Really try to get it sold. I figure if you let it ring four times, we'll get to it. You know who would love us, Howard? He's love us. not interested in Teddy's pitch. Okay. Well, Teddy. It's okay. I've been disappointed before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hey, 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 Teddy, 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 Teddy. Teddy, Teddy the Teddy, producer's calling back. Producer's for the pitch. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, shit. Go, go, let's talk. Who, what's his name? Hey, John. Hello, Glassman. John, I have, you, I have you on the podcast here with my cousin, Teddy. And big shout out to John Surin and Abominable Hi, Pictures again. We're big fans of you over here. Oh, sure you are. Thanks. Now, Teddy has a, hey, has a pitch for you. Could you hear him? T t t say hi, Teddy. Hi, John. This hi, is Teddy. Teddy. I can hear him not as well as I can hear you, but uh, I think most people maybe I'll push feel you that way push when, you in a little better. when you're talking to them. Yeah, well, John, listen, we'll fix it in the mix. But if you could hear each other well enough... Uh, this is the Teddy's pitch, and we want to see if you could help make it. Teddy, go ahead. All right. The pitch I'm is... I'm all ears. Uh, we have... It's it's based like... Kind of like... It, the look would be like a sci-fi... Uh, what's that? 2000... Um, Mystery Science Theater. Mystery Science fi fiction, uh, fiction two, 2000. <laughs> You're blowing It'd be it. like three kids, you know, three little uh, silhouettes in the corner. One would be a Hussid. The other one would be, would be like someone with really long hair, and the other one would be I don't know. Well, you know, a dog, for God's sakes, you know, a, 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 a golden. What did you say the first one was? Hasid. So he'll have he'll like you know like um, you know um, Orthodox Jew that is. Tal yeah. Rabinowitz. Yeah. Pay, pay us, and, pay yeah, us, and, and the friggin' hat right. and the whole deal, right? So you can't That's miss right. it, right? And, uh, and then the other one, just to be clear, is long hair, and then a dog. The other ones are long hair, like like some maybe from our gen, the new the new generation, like Scott Stapp, right? And then the dog, you know, like uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo or whatever, you know. Benji. And right. uh, well, everyone loves dogs, right? Yeah. Everyone loves dogs. Anyway, like that's the that's the trio, and the trio uh, does um, sarcastic remarks based on um, or the Jewish point of view during World War Two, and we're we're looking at like. Like all the shit from like uh, World War Two in color, um, you know. Or, yeah, a, a in pop, color or not in black and white. He's, you know, he's talking about actual yeah. war footage. All yeah, all, war footage, history. and I love yeah. that. And if I love the commentary as well, if I can like commentary on their commentary, because Teddy Teddy is kind of obsessed with Hitler. A backstory, John. Not really, but I think that, that there's so much hip, hypocrisy and so much bullshit in those documentaries that I think there's a, almost some humor in it. You know. In a sick way, and um, if it came from the Jewish point of view, it, it actually could be hysterical, you know. So that, that's my uh, my spiel. You know? Well put, Teddy. That was very coherent for you. Yeah, well, you know, the Jews have a rich history of being uh, self-deprecating and gallows humor and finding <laughs> and finding comedy in the most in the least likely places. Exactly. We exactly. You know. You know, so it's like um, I don't know if it's like Hogan's Heroes in that sense. You know that that you know, but it'd be it'd be absolutely um, uh, timely. Who's going to star in it? Can I ask that follow up? Who's going to star well, in it? Wait, which part of it makes it timely? I missed that part of it. <laughs> yeah, I think the com I think the comments that we'll use. Well, you know, we'll use. 20th century comments instead of like you know 21st uh, century tw instead of 20 20, I'm like, sorry 21st century like if only that guy had an iPhone uh, yeah hey, that you would know, be a great dance yeah TikTok. exactly you know we'll just we'll, we'll have we'll have like comedy writers writing our shtick can you we know? say that looks as like Donald as, Trump you know, 
and you know, I probably can improvise half the shit myself. Oh, well, it's a little cocky. You know, he haven't given us one thing yet, but you know, he is. A, he's, you know. But uh, the concept. Listen, look, look, we're talking. It, we're talking big picture here, Johnny. Concept wise, is this something that you think we could sink our teeth into, and is it worth following up to maybe turn into a real show? Um, do you have an opinion on that already, Rick? I do. But are you sitting have down? You it? Have you expressed it? I'm always sitting down. <laughs> you might want to stand up for this. I think that if you get some Jewish comedians um, or people... Oh, wait, right off the bat, where would you find Jewish comedians already? Well, I'll, t- awesome. I'll tell you, even the producers are comedians. <laughs> oh, my God. To piss me off. You're, you're, you're right, actually. We're, we're, we're fucked. But, <laughs> but Teddy, it does, but, but John, it doesn't just have to be Jews because it would be so interesting to hear the perspective. It would actually be great to get Nazi sympathizers on there so their voice could be heard and see, like, take a look at this footage. And instead of fighting everybody, we could come together with the real language, which isn't left or right, but it's of comedy, of empathy, of connection, of, of one another. John, tell us what you really think because we have opinions. Most rabbis are pretty funny. I agree. Oh, yeah, rabbis. There we go. There we well, go. Jam, so listen, I, I don't want to take up too those... much of your time. I know you're a big producer in Hollywood, and I do want to let you go. But t- but, but I'm telling you the truth. I think rabbi. there's something to yeah. it, and I think with it it originating on Take Your Shoes Off podcast, where people are just flocking over and it's growing exponentially. It's one of the biggest podcasts I have. I think it's a cool, interesting thing to kind of shine a magnifying glass on and see if we can make it. Raphael's How Rabbi many Review. Do you have? This is episode 120, I don't know, 2, 123, something like that. But is, did you start naming them starting at 101, 102? No, he started at 1. 120 up no, he started at 1. The first wow. one I recorded was with my dad and Teddy. Came out number 5, but... Right. Uh, uh, um, so, first I'll just tell you that every, every pitch ends with the pitchy saying, well, that was... Really well thought out, really well pitched. Um, I'm going to take this back and we're going to talk about it. Then we're going to get back to you right away. We have our weekly meeting on Thursday afternoon. Wow, that, that sounds good. Sounds please. exactly um, what we want to so hear. So that's the answer you get whether, no matter what, unless it was such a good pitch that they actually want to buy it. So, drum say, roll, no. please. Um, but. I mean, our uh, our meeting is actually is going to be. Uh, I think we have a schedule for tomorrow afternoon. You're funny. This is funny. You could be one of the writers um, on the show. I'm, well, this well, is this is your, this is your opportunity. Thousand, so Were you really? That helps. Yes. On the new one. Uh, and an executive producer. Our company uh, produced. And I was. What did he say? What is he talking? What shows he talking about? That's and amazing. On it's Children's on Hospital. Mystery Science Theater. Well, yes, but on Mystery Science Theater 3000. Get the fuck yeah. out, really? The yes. The but show you just pitched to me. I love it. Yeah. I love oh, that show. Well, That's maybe my at least Teddy show. can get an episode out of it then. Um, it's a perfect so, It's a perfect, it's like, yeah. as Mr. Kevin would say, it's part of the romance package. It's, no, it's built. John, well, no one understands the pitch if they don't know what well, Mystery how about 3000 up, How about is. updating the show? Well, Teddy, you know, to, it's not to, about updating. It's about branching off from. Yeah, but, uh, you but know. I, I, Okay, so go. fortunately, uh, you know, also every pitchy always has in their back pocket before the pitch starts an excuse for why not to do it. Like it's always like, oh, we have another thing in development like that. Oh, right, right. Oh, right. 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 I'm start- I think I'm starting to catch right. what you're drifting. That's a shark tank thing. So I'm in out. This case, I already own a I muffin company. Say, I'm out. Look, I really can't. You know, because it steps on the other thing. Wow. Um, What's the other? So you're always, you're always prepared theater. with that. And in this case, Rick had already given me a heads up what the pitch was. So, you know, I was I had lots of things prepared. Yeah. Um, but I guess a question would be. Um, um, Can we get Hitler? <laughs> I guess my question would be, am I missing something here? You know what? In this pitch? <laughs> yeah, that's, that was my question, by that's the not, way. That's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> John, thanks for helping is out. Part of, is there a part of this pitch I, I, I didn't hear? Yes, didn't get? and here it is. Guess who we have to play the part of the dog? Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yes, John. <laughs> That's asshole like Adam Sandler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, I, but I am also 
writing a Scooby Doo special uh, right now, recording <laughs> oh the voice of Scooby Doo tomorrow, and oh that's my true too. God. Well, congratulations, John. You're a busy man. We could tell, and I appreciate you taking the time to hear my cousin Teddy's pitch. I like really, so John. John. I want to know what your opinion was. Rick. My uh, opinion. My opinion was. Uh, you know, I thought it was a surefire thing. You were going to give us two hundred thousand dollars, and we were going to make it tomorrow. But I guess I'm, you have to make your own bed. Uh, I thought well, we'll say you could probably make it a lot more che- cheaply than that. The original Mystery Science Theater three thousand was made for. I think we're getting pennies, back. I think you know? we're getting back. Wait, I'll take it from here. I know how to handle this. Right? No, that's that's what I'm saying. Like a show like this, why would anyone be interested if it's something that they've already done and they know how to do this format and they could do it for real cheap and they have a writer that they really trust? How? It almost seems like it wouldn't be a challenge. It would yeah. be too easy for you, how right? Much? How much? Let's just say hypothetically, we were to do it. How much would you say it would take to make, you know, uh, you know, the uh, 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 fifteen minute pilot? Well, you have to get the rights from Hitler. Got him. His estate. He owes them to us. <laughs> his estate. He owes it to us, right? <laughs> is that his estate? Is that possible? His kids. You know what you could say? Grandkids. You know what you could say? Check this out. You could say this. We could call the show Hitler Owes It to Us. And any lawsuit that they come back, we use as the content for it and say, you know what? You'll see our money when we. S- that money when you give us our grandfather's and grandmother's golden teeth that you ripped out of their fucking skulls. You Nazi scum bitch. You fucking bitch. <laughs> I, actually, this is a, a legitimate question. Did Hitler have children? Ooh. I heard he was gay. I, I don't think he no. had children. With love. He, no, Debbie he had sisters and brothers and shit like that. You no, know? the real... Did Hitler have children? The chi- Mom, come in here to tell us if Hitler had children. No. I got a producer on the line. He did no, not have he children. He did not have children. I don't even think he had plates. <laughs> By the way... How much is this going to cost me to do this? Uh, yeah, Teddy wants to self-finance it. If Teddy pays to, to, to make this pilot. Oh, no, back. I'm hanging up. That There's, was my girlfriend. There are so many other places for you to spend that money. Mm. How about Rick's college fund for Rick to go to but, college? All right. He's, all, right. all right. You know all what? Right, I think we're all right. You're all right. right. You're all right. right. We thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah. All right. Just tell us no, man. I do what I can. All right. I know what you can. You're very funny, John. Hello to the family. For me and my dad. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Shalom. Thank you, John. Everyone there. Thank you, John. Thanks. Well, that went horrible. <laughs> Teddy goes, do you hear it? Teddy closes it. He goes, good luck, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, Teddy didn't like the yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Teddy was like, fuck yeah. He goes, good he luck goes, surviving goes, right, without yeah. this show in your rotation. I'll do it anyway. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to whatever the fuck this was. That was great. Uncle Bob, anyway, come in. Could you come in and just real quick to, to us, give us, us uh, here, let him use a mic. Yeah, sure. Uh, hey, Dad, let him use your mic. Yeah. Go ahead. This could be a mistake. This could be a big mistake right now. What? The final minute. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, that was uh, take your shoes off. We had a really good time, right? Didn't we have a good time, guys? Let's call it in. Great. Right. (laughs) I thought that he was calling in as an investment advisor. Okay. (laughs) Uncle Bob, relax. Uncle Bob, relax. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, chill, man. Let's do this. Let's see Let's see a fist fight between Adam and Uncle Bob versus Dad. Uncle you, Bob and Dad versus Adam in a fist fight. I bet you someone calls. I bet you someone we get a call on this shit. Maybe. But check this out. You guys, thank you so much. If you want to stick around for a part two, or you could stay right here, because Adam and I have a choreographed little number we want to show you. And don't worry. I'm sorry, Dad. Am I boring you with my animation? Oh, man, I'm so unlikable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook dinner for all you guys now, and then we're going to do part two. I can't wait. Yeah. All right, well, here's what I wanted to show. I wanted to show Adam and I will fight to see who sets the din- dining room table. Be careful with that. We already talked about semen. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Uncle Bob! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here!
That's a great time. Scoop D. Oh, yeah. That was great, Ricky.